Hello and welcome to Life Talks with Ayo Family. Today on the show we have a young man who has been a victim of gun violence. Something we're seeing more and more on London streets today. So we're going to find out about his story, why, things, why these things are happening, what we can do to possibly solve them and the impact it has on the entire community. Andrew. Andrew, yeah. So obviously, upbringing, originally I'm from Barkland, and Dublin, through and through. Is that what, were your family? Family, originally they're from Nigeria and Ireland, so my mum's mixed race. Wow. wow. Yeah, so my nan's white basically, yeah. so yeah, wow. so yeah. mixed, but yeah. obviously my dad, you know, his genes are stronger, he's darker as well, so yeah, 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 got his yeah, colour yeah. in it, so yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I grew up in Barking and Dagenham all my life. Yeah. Was it like in Barking and Dagenham when you was younger? What was it like? Was it like, like was it a bit of a racist at time? I won't lie, those times, yeah, because I used to grow up near a block called Lego Block, or it's, that's not the name of the block because it's, like, it's made out of red and white blocks. Yeah. And it just looked like a Lego Block. So we just, we just went with it, Lego Block. So yeah. yeah. And obviously, we had a couple of rappers that grew up there, like Devlin, for example. Yeah, okay, is that Devlin? Yeah, yeah Devlin yeah, yeah, is yeah. a song. I think Karuni Outcast. There's a yes. song called. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah that's, where I was, that's where I was raised. Okay, do you yeah. know what? It's called Prospect as well, by any chance. I think, I think yeah, they made another one there yeah, as well called one, Prospect. Yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, growing up there, like, I want. Maybe at them times, yeah, predominantly white. But obviously, you had the. You had the obviously the ethnic minority that's yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So, and if I'm being honest, the upbringing it was all right. Like my mum, obviously I grew up with my mum in it. I did my dad. I won't say so my dad, dad wasn't around, no. I won't say he wasn't around at the time in the sense where he was there. And like he was obviously he's living in Nigeria, so and his work is based over there. So it's more of a thing. I'll go on holiday to see him or something. Like the last time. I saw him in this country was 2004, if I'm being wow. honest with you. But you had con- you have contact with him? <clears throat> I have contact with him, but I feel like, if I'm being real, and so open, like, I feel we could be stronger. Like, could obviously be stronger. now, I'm at an age where I feel, you know what, like, I can put the differences aside and be a man about the situation and sit down and talk to him and be like, look, what went wrong or how can we fix it? Because eventually, I'm going to be a father myself. There's some things yeah. I'll need to learn yeah. for me. See, like when I enter fatherhood, so see, yeah. See, see, you feel you you lacked a father figure then, even though you knew who your dad was, you knew where he was, what he was doing. I'll be real, yeah. I'll say I lacked a father figure, but I won't put the blame. I won't, I won't put the blame. It has a part to play, but no, I won't put the blame on it. Entirely on him. Yeah. Okay. So who else would take the blunt of the break, the brunt of the blame? I'll say if I'm being real, like obviously growing up. See what it was. See when I was growing up here, yeah, like I was. It's one of them ones, my mum, yeah, like we're all boys. Yeah. Like we're all boys, so. It's only so much mums you can. Yeah, and my older brother, he was more of the father figure, but he was a good influence, like in the sense where he wasn't on the streets, he was just himself. Like he was doing his thing, like he wasn't doing nothing illegal, that's the thing. He was just, like, obviously he's working, he was like, at that time, what, 18, 19, 20, so around those times. Like, yeah, he was just doing his thing. He wasn't, like, he had, might have had friends that were doing whatever, but him himself was keeping himself And was himself. he, like, exposed to his friends who was doing this kind of stuff? Did you see I, the stuff I they were doing? I saw them, but obviously I didn't see what they were doing. Innit? So I wasn't, re- I didn't really see that. Innit? I, didn't, like, I didn't really see that. Obviously, like, I would say more of when I was getting to teenage years, that yeah. I would say, yeah, I was, more, oh, I was more exposed. And that's because maybe the school I went to and... Maybe where I was raised up, because as I was getting older, as you get older, naturally, like you're gonna be exposed to certain things, in it. Mm. So, so like, what kind of stuff are you talking about? When you was coming up, like, what kind of stuff did you see? And like, obviously, what made well, you... you see what it was. See, when I was growing up here, like, obviously, you know, when you're like six, seven, eight, I'll say from eight to twelve years old, yeah, you're gonna have a like little click, but that's on the bl- like, it's not even a click here. It's just you you're and start someone to find that, yourself. Yeah, you start to fight. Yeah, start to identify yourself. Yeah, yeah. And there's one of the things where I was like, yeah, I was doing mischievous things, but like, I was more of like petty crimes, like, it's right. not even crimes. Like what, like, for instance? I was like, like, yeah, well, like maybe stealing bikes or something, or yeah. like, you know, all the dust caps on on on, on certain cars and bikes. Yeah, yeah, you used to yeah. steal and keep it souvenirs. Like, okay. Like, yeah, so it was all the dumb things there. So boisterous stuff. Yeah, boisterous stuff. Yeah, not that ginger or the new. You know how it goes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah of, course, of course. Of course. 
And then obviously, even dom times, like, I was still going to church every Sunday. My mum is a devoted Christian, so okay, she so come from a Christian yeah, home. Yeah, Christian home. Yeah, yeah, so every week, every Sunday, I'm in church. Your father as well. My father, yeah, yeah. I'll say my father is devoted. As well. Like the time I spent with him, I'll say he's devoted as well. Okay, I say he's yeah, he practices uh, Christianity. So yeah, yeah. And do, do you believe in God yourself? I believe in God. Like I'll be real, yeah. I ain't gone to church for like two years, yeah. but I have my reasons. But I feel. In my personal opinion, I don't need to go to church to prove my faith to God. Like yeah, yeah. me going through whatever I went through, like whatever I went through in my whole life, God's been there. It built your relationship. Yeah, it built my relationship. Yeah. It could have easily went left in any situation I've been in. Yeah. But God's been there and it's taken me to a path that I'm still, you know, I'm still walking that path and I'm still waiting for what he has in plan. So oh God, obviously God, the faith God, is there. Yeah, yeah. The okay. faith is there hundred so, percent. You said you were doing petty, it was kind of petty things, like yeah. childish things when you were young. When did it, when did it kind of evolve? It evolved, like... Mm-hmm. Secondary school. Even before that, if yeah. I'm being honest, yeah. before that, yeah, so... I'll say, like... When I started growing up, like... Before, yeah, my mum was, like, kind of picky, like, you know, don't go outside, don't go outside. Like, I won't say strict, but she had a, she had a boundaries. Yeah, yeah. Like, how yes, you probably go outside... And just like in your front porch and play football, mm-hmm. but back then we had a trumpet. Like she made sure we had things that, like we had PlayStation, a PlayStation Two back in the days and yeah. all that. So the trampoline, we had things there that will stop mm-hmm. us from even going out. So yeah, we're yeah, yeah. occupied inside the house. Mm-hmm. But I mean, so what? What kind of things did you do? Like when you made the evolution, when I made the what evolution, what kind of things did you do? Like from knockdown down ginger and stealing bikes. How did you? How did it progress? How did it progress? Like it was still, it was still like that. Like it was still because then I still I had like a couple. I wouldn't even say orders there yeah, because if I'm being real, I won't look at them as orders, innit? Like they were just people that were there, and they were just doing the same thing, but they were more advanced, so they they're having mopeds in it. So this is when I see mopeds, even smoking. They were smoking, but I like I was too way too young, so obviously I won't like if I'm smoke if I'm seeing smoke, I'm walking away from it. You know, I think this is that's good. That's good for you to take that ethos. I think it's a problem that a lot of the kids are having these days. Yeah. People they're calling elders or elders. They're not really the elders or elders because yeah. where I come from, elders and elders teach you the right things. They that's teach it. you how to yeah. move forward in 100%. life. So people are wearing these badges but not fulfilling the criteria yeah. of this and not helping you and yeah. almost like manipulating that thing yeah. to use people to, to for their own end. When half of them they don't yeah. really actually know what they're doing as well. Yeah, hundred percent. Like that's what I said. Like you see me, uh, like. If I have youngers, yeah, I'm making sure they're on the right path. I don't, because I'm thinking at the end of the day, this is someone's younger brother. This is someone's son. Mm. It's like, I'm not, like, I don't know, I've got younger brothers. I don't want them to be influenced in a way where they feel, yeah, they're being loved. Not really, they're not being loved. Let's, let's be real, the streets don't love you. Like, that's what people need to understand, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah. the streets don't love you. Like, I've learned that first time. The streets, there's no love in the streets. Like, you might feel, yeah, but a sense of belonging. That's then, but look long term. When you say the streets, for people who don't actually understand what that means, because I can grasp the concept of what you say when you mean the streets. I'm sure yeah, you yeah, can as well. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. what when you say the streets don't love you, could be more specific. Like the streets don't love you. Like if I'm be like, I'll be open about this as well. Yeah, like when I mean the streets, I mean like that lifestyle, like that like, like, yeah. like gang, the road lifestyle, because. Let's be honest, yeah. Even in my time, when I was when I was teenage years, I didn't I didn't have a like like what we have now, the platform we have now. I didn't have that when I was younger for people to you know advise us, take us like not even take us in, but to be able to lecture us about certain things. Mm. It's kind of a thing you have to learn off your own back. It's sometimes it's the hard way. Sometimes if you're lucky. You might get it the good way, but more nine even nine percent of the time it's the hard way. But yeah. when you say you didn't have the people, what do you mean? As in the people that are calling themselves the elders, that are now giving the advice that we don't I, think is good I, for I, everyone. I don't, I don't. I didn't even have orders. Like when I mean orders, like I didn't have oh, like I didn't no, have rule, like family figures. Yeah, like, like, like family that. figures. My older brother, innit? my older brother. Okay. Like he's been he's, he's straight to the book. Like he's he's good. He was good. But he then was, he's uh, yeah. He's obviously still learning how to be a man himself at the no, same time while you were coming to him. At so. the same time. So at that time, you could say he was man of the house. And obviously, how it is now, it wasn't like that back then. So back then, it could, like, it could, like, at the end of the day, if you have older siblings, you've got to take your influence from them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whether it's good or bad, yeah, you've got to take your influence from them. So I, what's, what's mad, he was a good influence. Like, 
Mm. Like he will be buying me trainers all the time, mm. and f- f- because of him, even I've I've mad. I'm a sneakerhead. That's because of okay. him. Mm-hmm. That's because okay. of him. So that's that. Well, that's what I mean by the influence. Yeah. Sometimes the whole environment here yeah, is just the mentalities that surround everyone. It's true. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like it is even if everyone's got good intentions for each other. Yeah, the mentalities that everyone's living by. That's it. Is messing each other up. So mm. they uh, they can't actually be there for each other. So you know, like the only thing that everyone tries to provide is like, oh, if someone does something to you, I'll we, let's go and do something to them. But even in the hood, if you ask someone to borrow a tenner, you you might get more of an issue than you, you know what I'm saying? You know, like you that, yeah. To, like, yeah. So it's like, this same place is that, we, as much as we do, people do love each other, it's still uh, poverty stricken as well. So it's not just saying it's poverty why, I'm just saying it's like everyone's, everyone wants to get stuff, everyone is trying to get to a certain place as well. Mm. So yeah. it, that competition element starts coming as you get older and all of these different things. So it's like, that's what, that, that whole, the, the streets don't love you thing. It's like, it, the streets can't love you. you can't, the street yeah. doesn't know how to love. The street, you know what I'm saying? But to me, that like, what I would say is this, what people are saying is the streets and what is being said, is it really a thing? Like people live in, I know people live in the inner city and they, they have the proper nine to five jobs in the yeah. same area that, that the next person who's living next door is saying, I'm, I'm from the streets because I live here and I live yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Only because yeah, yeah, they're yeah. buying this badge, wearing this badge, saying this stuff. Yeah. Then it goes on to you now trying to behave like you're from the streets when people yeah. do certain things, which is the problem right there. Yeah. Oh, it's a problem. Oh, let's go and roll. Let's and do this. It's, it's a violation. You know I mean? it's this, so yeah, the absolutely. Is not, it's not a place. It's a mentality. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's a mentality. Like, I, I think the same for slavery and things like that. It's, a, it's more of a mentality than it is actually uh, uh, what how people perceive it to be. Yeah. So people get locked in these mentalities and these mentalities, like they say, they, 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 they're counterproductive. It's counterproductive in every way. 100. Yeah. I agree. So, um, what do I want to ask you next? So, after you, your graduation, what kind of stuff did you get into after looking up to your brother? When you now began, sorry, how old are you? 23. 23. Honestly, yeah, I'm quite, still quite young. So, it's when do you feel you, you, you matured into a man in your own right? Because we're talking, you're saying your brother was a man running the house in his 20s or so, you was younger. When you started getting involved in stuff that you, because we all know what's right or wrong, stuff yeah. that you didn't think was right or you knew was wrong. I'll say from secondary school and like I went to one of the best secondary schools in a country at that time like for it what was, reason? like obviously where I'm from Barking like there's two like the, the biggest school in that borough was obviously Barking Abbey that's the name of the school I went to mm-hmm. and that was one of the top schools in the country like, okay. it, was, it was a government for school results and stuff like yeah, that yeah results okay. and yeah yeah mainly results predominantly results and it was a centre of excellence for sports Okay. So we had quite we had like people like Bobby Zamora and all that. Okay. Right, uh, going to that school and then obviously from there uh, we had a couple of basketball players as well. From so, I can't remember like I don't know if they're big now, but I know like from then that like, Bobby Zamora he's probably retired by now. God knows what he's doing, but at that time I didn't meet them in the school, but yeah. obviously they're from the, the obviously there were attendees of that school at that time. So obviously their pictures, they they've got signed T shirts, Premier League yeah. T shirts of that of theirs. Of the shirts in a in a gallery and that. So then I would ask you off yeah. the back of that. Yeah. If they did or they did it, you have to ask that question as well. But why wouldn't you aspire to something that they was doing? That somebody who knew was doing a sport. So why did, did why couldn't that captivate you? Or did it captivate you? See, or? Yeah. You see what it was. Like, well, like well, going into secondary school. Yeah. I was I was already playing football. Like I was. Sorry, you saying that? Sorry. I was playing football. Okay. So. I already like I took that aspect. I've always been a football head from young. Like, was any good? Yeah, my icon was real Ferdinand. So you good? Yeah, I'll, I'll say I was good. Uh, maybe I'll, other people might have different opinions in it, but I'll say I was good in it. Yeah, Bro. I was a centre back or a right. I could play right back or centre back. So my icon was right, real Ferdinand. Look, always looked up to him. So okay. I thought, you know what? Like, I'm gonna be like real Ferdinand. Went to secondary school. Thing is, as well, before like, even before the secondary school part if I'm talking education wise I was a smarty very like I'm telling you like I was reading newspapers from six years old so bearing in mind I'm doing the Asbo shit yeah I was reading newspapers I'm like everyone else would be playing jumping from the staircase to do some Batman thing I'm sitting down I'm reading newspapers these times it's like the Barkley and Dunham recorder all these things their local borough newspaper that's what I'll be reading yeah I didn't really know about even the stand in the metro but I was reading yeah mag- not mag- yeah, even those magazines it's about like match of the day them, them football magazines I, like, I was re- like my intellect and reading was strong my okay. intellect was strong so 
getting into school, I, like obviously year six sats, I got five five four. I got English math and science five five four. I could have went private school, but obviously my mum, like she, it's not a fault in it. She didn't know about this eleven plus thing where if you pass it, you can go to a private school. Okay. So I didn't end up going to a private school. She had the opportunity to go to a private school. Yeah, I had to keep it busy. to your level of grades. Yeah. But I'm, you, I'm a you, you kind of got overlooked yeah, I because say, of lack of information. Yeah, I wouldn't say, oh, yeah, you could say that, but I'll say, like... Because for me, sorry to cut you as well, for yeah, me, yeah. If, you, if you hit them grades and you're reaching that kind of standard, irrespective of whether your mum knew or not, teachers should be reaching out. There should be some sort of support bracket from the school as well to, to, to em, emulate yeah. the fact that you're that, that higher level, you're doing this, sort of, and they kind of follow up and say, oh, come, we're going to do this, because... My understanding is if you miss one day at school now, they're on to your mums and dads for truancy. Yeah, truancy yeah, do you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. so if you've got someone who's who's excelling, yeah. if, even if there's a one parent family, there should be something in place where yeah. you're chasing it up and helping them out. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So it isn't just your mum's fault. She's, your dad's not around, like you said. Yeah. She's got kids to raise, also bills to pay, because I came from the same kind of household. It's not easy, man. It's not easy. And to add to that, before I even went to secondary school as well, what makes it even worse for my mum? She got sick. Sorry? She got sick. She got sick? Yeah. So uh, when when did you say she got sick? She got she had like lupus or something. Like, she got lupus? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm familiar with, yeah, the, with so the disease. She was kind of like, let me pray like this. She's basically down in hospital. I'm like, after church every Sunday, I'm going to the hospital and I'm looking at my mum. She's pale. She's not the same. So all of this had an effect. So my brother... On you? And uh, wait, all of you basically? All of us. All of us. Even like, I have a, yo- I have a younger, younger brother that's 15 now. At that time, he was only like two years old. He doesn't even know what's going on. Yeah. How old was you? I was, what, 10. Oh, nine going on to 10. So, yeah, like, it was one of them ones where my brother, yeah, man of the house. Sometimes I'll stay, like, I used to stay with her auntie. She's dead now, but I used to stay That's with her. Though. And I'll be honest, I didn't like, like, see me, yeah, if I don't like not someone from young, yeah, I will let you know I don't like you. I'll let you, I'm not, I'm not, I won't beat around the bush around it, that's fake, like, I'll just tell you, look, I don't like you, like, I'll show you that I don't like you, I won't just act, I'll show you, so, I didn't like her, and then I remember, just, I was always stubborn, I've always been stubborn, so she tried to force me to eat potatoes or something, I was like, no, spat in her is face. Is your auntie? Yeah, so auntie, I spat in her face, I'm like, no, nah, I'm not eating that. But do you think that, um, excuse me, sorry, Yeah. do you think that possibly you might have been, Acting out because your mum wasn't around, so it wasn't just about you not wanting yeah, to do stuff I and think, being yeah, vocal. I think, yeah, I think, yeah, I think because, that my mum you know, wasn't around, so yeah. At 10 years old, you got a lot of things going on in your body yeah. and your brain and that, so it's a 100, lot. 100, Eventually, she made a speedy recovery, she came out, like even up to now, she's still still going through it. Yeah. But, yeah, and then after that, like, secondary school kicks in so now. I, w- I want you to get yeah. to, but I really want what I want to know, sorry to cut you. Go on, go on, go on. I want to know your, tra- your transition from the guy who plays Not Down Ginger and does this kind of like kids boyish stuff to where you get into more serious or more heavy stuff like basically that you know is wrong you shouldn't be doing but you're doing it for whatever reason I would yeah. want to understand that transition that transition is actually mad because even when I went to that school yeah, I brought a knife to school at 12 years old year 7 why? we had beef with another school and you see where it was yeah like the school I had beef with, yeah, it was literally a five minute, like, it's not in five minutes, it's, we shared the same road to go towards Barking Station. We shared the same road and we shared the same park. So, like, I had friends that, I didn't even, like, yeah, I had friends that went there, but they were older. Like, mm. like, they were like a year older or something. I'm going to do a biggie, yeah? Because I want to know, what's beef? What is the beef? The beef, like... Like, because I used to go to school, he's like, this is beef, that's beef. But we were hyping about stuff that doesn't really what happen. Is, the hype was, like... If I if I can remember, it's probably because of like different schools and obviously these times like it's one of those ones here yeah, where you know you, you make new friends and it's one of those ones where I made I had new friends here yeah, where I was like you know what I'm sticking to you like you if you're in problem I'm in problem that kind of thing there mm. so obviously he must have had a problem with someone from different school I said you know what happen. look we don't know what like obviously at twelve years old. You probably would, you probably think I'm probably thinking, look, what well, like what could happen? Well like it's a fight, but someone just told me to bring to bring something. So the 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 problem or the the, the beef you're talking about initially wasn't even yours. Well yeah, it wasn't through, even mine. But so through affiliation with another friend, yeah, you had to protect the friend and, yeah, and so and the school, so forth. And the school you started carrying a knife. Like yeah. It was it wasn't even a thing where I was carrying consistently, it was just that specific day to be honest. Like I remember it was a Friday. 
I can remember it being a Friday, and then the thing is, I brought an after school. I didn't even make it to the fight because. So you you took it intensely. You, you was gonna that, yeah. if you had to use it, you prepared to yeah. use it. Yeah. I didn't even make it to the fight. I was in a drama room, and we need we got wood, and we we're sharpening the knife. We we're sharpening the thing. Sharpening knife with wood. Yeah, yeah. With wood. Like, <laughs> you know, his wood doesn't sharpen knife, but obviously you know, know now. Yeah, I know now. Obviously, but then obviously, like, I'm just new to the thing. Like, I'm new to the thing. I don't know what I'm doing. Mm. I'm just, I'm just trying to sharpen something. Your and kids then, fucking around with knives. Yeah. Sorry, excuse my French, but yeah, yeah. yeah. And then my drama teacher also the head, of, the head of like we had like where my school we had an upper school and a lower school. So the lower schools for like year seven and year eights, mm -hmm. and then the upper schools year nine upwards. So when um yeah the guy came the, the drama teacher came in now. And he clocked us in it. It's like, what's that in your hand? So you, okay, you got yeah. caught. Yeah, like, like, obviously. Red handed. My, my boy, no comment. Obviously, he saw it in my position. What, I can't say, I obviously, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna grasp him, my friend, no way. <laughs> so, I took it, lunchtime detention, after school detention, got sent home, called my mum, now, you see what it is? I used to get beats in it, like, <laughs> I used to get the beats in there, like, you know, <laughs> And obviously, a man's not that type of guy. Like, come on, I've done things wrong. I know my punishment for it. I'm not gonna be crying like a little girl or crying. Yeah. Like, I take it in it. Like, at the end of the day, it's discipline. Well, you come from hold it, yeah. My culture, you gotta take it. Yeah, you gotta take so it. That's how it goes. Go on. And then obviously, yeah, I got hold. I got beats. This and that. Red right, hair, hair. And then obviously, luckily, like, and this is why it's good to be. I'll say, yeah, it's good to be intelligent in a way, in a, especially. Not even intelligent, just it's good to articulate yourself in a certain way because the way I articulate, the way I was in school, I was very intelligent. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm gonna yeah. stop you. Yeah, you keep saying you wasn't intelligent. You're still intelligent now. Your intelligence is growing. Uh, yeah, so I want you to get that in your mind. Like, don't say you wasn't intelligent. You might not have nurtured up to now, but you're still intelligent now. You feel yeah. me? Yeah, no, I get you. So, like, with this intelligence, yeah, like that's what gave me a second chance in the school. I was supposed to get kicked out. I was supposed to, and obviously being a black kid, like, <laughs> there's no, but the head teacher at that time, he was suspended, so it was. Like, oh, he wasn't alright, okay. Yeah, he was alright anyway, so <laughs> I'm like, uh, and the guy that was, like, interviewing me, like, obviously the ultimatum, what's, what's gonna happen, am I gonna get kicked out or not? He was strict, like, he has, he, he has no chill. And funny, so he did no chill, you said? Yeah, he has no chill. Like, he, he's straight, <laughs> like, he's straight with it. Like, he's no, no mercy. Funny thing is, yeah, after, like, they talk to my mum's like, ah, oh, so if we were to keep him in school, would this happen again? I'm like, no, it won't happen again. Like, whatever. And then, next thing is, like, because, like, he now looked at my grades. And I was like, look, you got, you know, this is the type of child we want in our school, academically, mm. and we're going to give him a second chance. Gave me a second so chance. saved you, yeah. Yeah, but I was still getting up to. I was still. I was. I was. I, I've always been. Like, I was still getting to fights on it. I want to know what is it? Like, sorry. Yeah. I'm gonna stay away from the crack because they're banging, though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna try to store the banging. Um, what it was the transition. So I understand what you're saying to me about you have you you had the, the, the absent dad, mum sick in hospital. You're growing up with potential anger issues. You don't like being spoken to in a certain way. Yeah. You're manifesting things in 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 like acting them out rather than speaking them out, even though yeah. you're being vocal. You also affiliate yourself yourself with people, friends, and then fighting their battles for them, like taking things on board that maybe not yours. Yeah. I don't know where when did you like make that breakthrough to, to like from the normal stuff, even though you got caught with a knife, you got caught with a knife. But when would you because is there any time when you've done anything worse? I'm not asking you to, to, to snitch on yourself. I'm just saying, how did it happen? When, I think what you're saying is, when did the gang life start happening? That gang life, you see what it was? Like, I was never a gang member. Okay. I'll be real. I was never, I was more of myself. Like, I got out, like, I'm just more of myself on my own. I'm just by myself. Yeah, I'm solo. Even in school, yeah, like, some people might find this weird, but. That's just how I rolled, innit? Yeah. I was just on my like I was known and that like, people know who I was, but I was just on my own. I, let me put you like this then, yeah? Yeah. So you've got all these, these you've got the the grades and everything. Yeah. But you haven't gone to college, you haven't done that stuff. You've gotta done something else. And yeah. The other stuff you've done to make money, to raise money for your aspirations at that particular time with all those influences I just spoke about, what was that stuff you went to do? Because you didn't follow the, the career path that would have kept you off the streets. 
Is she, inverted commas. Is she, is she, I'll be honest, uh, it's, it's like, it started going into shoplifting now, so. Okay, this one, yeah. Selling yeah. sweets in school, kind of. T- that, that was, that was the, that was, was tre- that was trending. It pro- pretty much every secondary school in my area, yeah, you probably had a couple of youths that were shot in sweets in it. Yeah. And that was me, and obviously, I'll be real, my mum, like, I'm grateful for what my mum has done for me. Even though one pound a day, that's what mum was going to school with. Mum's grateful for that. Yeah. Of course, Mom's of course. grateful for that. Like, that's yeah. the struggle right there. That's the struggle yeah, right there. Course. Like, like that, that's going to be paid back for it's it. Yeah, you, you, back you're, you're struggle proof. And I'm going to put it into in a different way, but my people nah, know about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, struggle yeah. proof, remember that? Yeah. So, it was like, obviously it wasn't enough for me to go and buy something and then make a flip on it. Nah. I had to go and do like obviously me playing football. You had a big sports bag. I'm going inside Tesco. I'm going inside eh, all these like like supermarkets and just getting a mad thing. Donuts. Oh, so you was that's when you was okay. You were stealing the stuff to sell. Stealing there, the yeah? stuff to sell. Yeah. So like I wasn't the only one. Obviously, I can't name you. But did you get caught? Yeah, a few times. Not even a few times. Like the majority is how I didn't get caught. But then. I done the mad thing like I took like probably two bulls worth of shit now, mm. and, I, and I got caught for it. But you I got was that you just didn't, what, you didn't care no more. What was it? You thought you was invincible. You thought you couldn't get caught. Like I, 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 like, I thought like I got too good. Like it was mm. one of them ones. Like you, you do it first, like first three times. It's all sweet. It's all, it's all good. You keep doing it. You're like no, it's actually easy. Yeah. So we get to a point where I won't even go. I'll go to the places where there's no alarm. So you got like pound lines and that. They got like couple off licenses as well. Like, oh, try to go to you get certain drinks, you know, you write, write, rise up the price for like a pound, you make a profit. So, yeah, I was doing that, doing that. And then obviously, like, even the time, there's a time now, yeah, where like I was doing that, but then I started, I wasn't even chilling in ends. I was, I'll go north, I, like, end, like, I don't know why, but like, like Oh, I started like obviously I'll be I'm talking to girls. So I've always been that guy that was talking to girls, but I never spoke to girls from my ends. I'm speaking to girls from next ends, like Edmonton, for example. And then I, I so sometimes I like after school, I'll go in my uniform. I'll go to Edmonton. Obviously, with the money I made, I'm going there with chilling. Maybe you know, you see what it is. I still get chicken and chips with the money I made in it. As young minded in it, so I didn't know like I didn't know the business shit of it. I just know money is money. So how do you get to where we're at kind of today? Because I'm going to ask you a few more questions about what's gone on and what's happened. Um, so would you say you've got or you had anything within, for want of a better phrase, the streets where you could have been made a target, where people would want to come and take what you See got? What it is, yeah. As I was getting older, obviously I changed schools. So like, I changed schools not because I didn't even get kicked out. That's the funny thing about it, about changing schools. Like... I'll put this out there like this year, I had someone that I knew outside of school that was working in my, uh, working in that school I was in at first. And obviously she was showing my mum that they were trying to kick me out, not because I was misbehaving or whatever, but because of my colour. Because, like, yeah, literally because of my colour. Of course, institutionalised racism. Yeah, institutional ra- racism. So, sure. obviously my mum clocked. I can remember like May 2012, my mum was like, yeah, you're not going back to that school. So good six, now this is where I'll say I was more exposed into the street shit. Okay, so, because you idle, yeah, idle hands, yeah? Yeah, so I didn't go to school. And I'm, I'm someone that likes to go about, like, I'm not going to sit at home and just do nothing. I want to go about and- Keep yourself occupied. Keep, yeah, keep myself occupied. So when, yeah, when that happened now, like, I start, I was seeing one girl from Edmonton or whatever. So more times, like, I'm waking up. I'm fi- I'm still, fi- I'm telling my mum, I want to go back to school. But she's like, no, 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 you're not going back to school. That like, you don't know what they're trying to do to you. They're trying to send you to college. And obviously my mum, yeah, she knows my capability of how good I work in the school. She don't want me going to college. And the college they would have sent me to is basically what people was, like, in my words, I would say is like, it's like an introduction to the criminal justice system. If I okay, like, like the u- kind of units yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, the units. Most definitely, so I understand it, that. The units, you're going to go buck at that college, maybe that, I don't know, that, later down the line, they'll probably be they'll probably be in jail or something. They'll probably be in a, like the yeah. criminal justice system. So my mum was like, no, nah, no. Nah. And this is when my mum was like, you know what? I can send you Nigeria. I can send you Nigeria. I was like, Brother, these times, and it's still, it's, still, it's still so bad. Obviously, yeah, I was going out and about, I was hardly in ends. Obviously, I'll come back home, but 
I was hardly in ends during the day. I'm always in Edmonton. Ed, like, I started chilling with people there, but it wasn't a thing. They weren't doing all this road shit, whatever. I was like, like yeah, they were smoking and that, but I, I just didn't like the smoke. Like, I tried it once, and I think I didn't What are we like talking it. about now? We were talking about me. Uh, no, no, no. We were talking about them smoking. Oh, smoking, like. No, what smoke, was they smoking? Weed, weed, like weed. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, cigarette, like cigarettes, like, it's, even in my school, before I got moved, people were smoking cigarettes. They'll go behind the trees mm-hmm. and smoke cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I just didn't like that smell, to be honest. Like, I wasn't like, none of my family members smoked, so I didn't really, it wasn't really my thing. So, yeah, going over there, they're smoking. Even the girl I seen was smoking, and she was like my age. I was like, right, you're smoking. My mum catching me smoke. I, I'm getting home, I'm getting a belt or a wooden spoon on my hand if, the, if she catches me smoking. Mm-hmm. I can't smoke. So, how many brothers did you say you have? I have like, I have three. Me making it four. So four, 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 four boys. Four, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, I want you to tell us about what happened. About what happened a day in the morning. So from you woke up that morning up until the incident happened. You can explain to us oh, what yeah, happened that, that day. day. So that day, like, if I can remember that day. It was, it was normal, if I'm being honest, like, it was just normal day, like, just, obviously, I want to lie, these times now, I, like, I was doing street shit, like, I've been in cases for street shit, so. See, what I'm saying to you, that like, I was asking you before, that's what I was trying to get to you before, because of what's happened to you, I kind of want the audience to understand and know, and I, I don't know your story either, but I want to understand what you were doing prior to that, and then we'll get to the reasons for what happened with you, but yeah. could that have been a a, a a factor in it? That's what I need to know, like, yeah, you yeah, elaborate yeah, a bit yeah, more, yeah, like, yeah. what so, you was doing, for, so from so, the knife to the shoplifting to the this, I want you to give me, like, a correlation of that, yeah. of any crimes you may be involved in, yeah. and let's get to the bottom of this as well. So, yeah, so, obviously, the thing, okay, cool, after the shoplifting and all that, 2013, that's when they done the mad, the mad thing in the, sh- the shoplifting, I got caught, and the feds took me home, that's the first time, like, I've been in cuffs and, like, putting in the back of the van, took me home, my mum's like, he's going to Nigeria, this, don't worry, he's going to Africa. So funny enough, I actually get sent back to Africa now. Wow. 2013, four years. You got dipped? I got dipped. By the parents, yeah. Yeah, man. Well, I'm dipped. Nigerian, they threatened to ditch me bare yeah. times as well, so I totally understand how that works. You know how that works as yeah, well, isn't it? That's what I said to you earlier. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I got yeah. dipped. That was a standard thing for a lot of Nigerians yeah. in my time, a lot of um, oh, yeah, Caribbeans as well. Yeah, because what it is, no, if, if the system here is not taking care of you. So? How old are you at the time? Uh, oh, 15. So you're from 15 See, to 19. Yeah, it's a yeah, fundamental time. Nine, yeah. Because if you, if you don't do what you're supposed to do here, it's like you go right through the cracks. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. if you go home, like, for my people, when you go home, whether it's Jamaica or, uh, or an African country, you can see what life is really yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, all yeah. the youths, like, fucking around here, they realise, nah, this oh, is, yeah. life's hard. Yeah, and you've got it good, so it's time to pull up your socks and work. And this is where you come from, do you know what I mean? Yeah, and sometimes it gives you that, 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 information it washes your brain in the right way for you to understand then you come back and buckle down yeah sometimes it makes people go all the other way as well go yeah. absolutely crazy but more more often than not and that was our only thing like yeah. africa parents make send them send them home yeah. and then see what's going on back home leave me yeah. there for a bit and then come back yeah yeah so, so go on so you got dipped. It be out there? uh how it was actually it was my like i won't lie yeah uh, it felt like, like i went to boarding school and, and wow the boarding school it's not like your British boarding school is prop like you're getting like if you're talking back to the teacher slapping her face you're getting a long stick on your hand or you're getting a mat like the way they beat over there <laughs> yeah, that school yeah, is built yeah, for yeah, discipline yeah. so it was like a joke it was like that was like a joke for me man that was like a little bird little <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was like a little bird man definitely like. Right. Yeah, probably like, the worst thing actually going to hit. That's a, it, 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 literally, I'll, I'll be real, I would have, like, at that time, I would have been like, you know what, I'd rather be in HMP than be in Nigeria, you know? Of course. But did, did, so when you was there, did you have any contact with your dad? You see what it was? Like, yeah, like, had co- like I was staying with my dad, didn't it? But his job required him to be out, so that like, he was, he's a pilot, innit? So he's not, like, not that he doesn't want to be there, he's like, he made sure I had money. He made sure I ate good. He made sure I was good in it. I got given. I got. I can't knock that down. But he like. I didn't. If I'm being real, yeah, I, I couldn't open up to. I don't know. Just the way he was. I couldn't open up to him. Like he was stripped. He was stripped. So excuse me. I have the same problem. Or I've had the same problem yeah. in Nigeria as well. So yeah. I think there's a thing where 
when I'm in the presence of my dad, I don't know if it's for you, because he's such a big man in his own right, yeah. and we had that disparity, the distance between yeah. us. When I was with him, even up to now, I still feel like a youth, man. Yeah, yeah, so yeah 100, 100. Him, it's like, I could talk to him most, like, we're on the podcast right now, like, talking. Yeah, you know, yeah, this is going to get to yeah. thousands and millions of people. But let my dad walk in the room. I become a kid again. Yeah, Almost it's like certain things. Yeah, yeah. I doubt myself. I don't want to say it's respect, I just like, though, it? It's, it's, it's respect. It's respect. It's respect. It's but, respect then it's, yeah. it, but I feel like what like I feel it's like a it's like a barrier. It's like it's like stifling yeah. as well, yeah. I think it's, it's, it's slightly stifling as well. It's stifling, like if you I don't want to say this or if I say this, what would my dad do kind of thing? But like, sometimes you need that. No, it's true, yeah. But, but see, go on. And it's it, but you see what's you see why I'm now closer to my mum? Yeah. Because I can now what I can't do with my dad right or wrong i can do it with my mum yeah but in a sense where my mum yeah now i can i can i can open up to mum. i can t- yeah see, and you need that you need that yeah, it, 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 i see what it is it even if you had a quote-unquote great relationship with your dad yeah, yeah. mommy will always be the one you open up to yeah but i'm just saying being it knowing that or not feeling that you don't not like not being able to say certain things no matter what's going to come back like even if it's like you get beat whatever but if you feel like you can't open up and say something yeah. there's a there's something there's a slight problem with that depending on what yeah. it is because like, like, well, then you're yeah. harbouring it it's I, like as a child as well you say it, but like I say to you we see when he went to his dad he, 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 he patterned up a bit so as much as that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Pattern, yeah. that friendship yeah. thing right yeah. there like you said if your dad walks in the room now as, as your aisle we know how you, I'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you go back down to there because yeah. respect and it's like yeah. that respect kept you patterned yeah because it's like, yeah, I can't talk to him about something. Yeah, because I'm scared of him a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Par- you're supposed to be, like, that fear for your but parents. That, but that, that fear supposed- fucked me up too. Me personally, because then it allowed, because I couldn't talk to him about stuff I want to talk to. Yeah. I would talk to the quote unquote olders of my yeah. time. Yeah. And them olders of my time haven't got the same love and loyalty and everything that my dad has but for why me. why did you think you could speak to them? No, it, it wasn't that I thought I could speak to him. I had something to say to get off my chest and I didn't feel I could say it with my dad. I never had no big brothers, no big sisters. No, I had a big sister, but no one, do you know what I'm saying? So it's more, my thing is like, all I'm saying is some of the things that we judged as, as oh, I didn't feel like I could speak to you. The, like I said, the people we could speak to didn't really have the best interest for us. Not at all, yeah. So all, like yeah. the people that do have the best interest for you sometimes, yeah? Yeah, that you're supposed to, especially when it's your dad. Like remember, where, uh, even from our animal side, yeah, and you know it's your dad. Like obviously, people more have more disrespectful to their dad when their dad lived with them and they were alcoholic and they were etc. Mm. etc. Et mm. So sometimes when you didn't get to see the stuff that tarnished, you still have that respect mm. in a certain sense, isn't it? and it can help you balance. Do, and do, yeah. do you know what? I'd have to agree with you now as well. Taking back what I just said because the fact that I had to revert to that yeah. forced me then to have to deal with stuff that. I may have just said, oh, Dad, how'd you do this? You give me an answer. Exactly. I'm forced to deal with it. So then, it, then in turn, it forces growth. Yes. It forces growth. So yeah. it, it, there's, there's two sides to that. So yeah, yeah you're yeah. quite like, right. There's two like the discipline he gave to me, for example, yeah. My mum, obviously, like, she could do, like, obviously the beats were there, but it's in Nigeria, yeah. Your dad's beating you. You want to try to fight back. The uncles are waiting in line to come and destroy you. <laughs> and last you, like, yeah, running nowhere. Like, you got to take it, innit? That's how it was. I remember the few was like, trying to fight back and say, what? Yeah. Where? No worries. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Back at the door. Don't hold up this knee. Yeah. 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 Hey. So you want to fight. <laughs> <laughs> exactly how it was. Exactly how it was. So, yeah, like, it was one of the ones where, yeah, like even like even in my boarding school, they had a thing called visiting day. Like he barely came. Not that it was his fault, but he came a few times, and I've got to be grateful for the moments there. But he was hardly doing it. That's because of his work. So I didn't even have the time to sit down and be like, "Dad, this is how I feel. This is how this and that." There's more times my mum, she's in a whole other. Co- like I, I got to give it to my mum, innit? Every year I was there, she she came to visit. She came to visit and mm-hmm. like. Like, if he was there when I was growing up, I feel I would have had that same bond with my dad. I don't blame him. Do you feel you would have done things differently? Yeah, 100%. How? Uh, yeah, 100%. Oh. In a sense where, like, I reckon, yeah, you see, young boys growing up, they're going to get them majority, I see 99% of their influence is from men. So whatever they see, rather, rather it be all the brothers, the father or olders that are consistently around, they're gonna get some sort of influence. Make you right. Mm-hmm. And the only way that can be is good or bad. Mm. And make you right again. It's very poignant. 
Yeah, 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 put a pin right there. That's that's very what you said. Very poignant. So then, so go on. So like, have you all got you and your siblings got the same parts as well? Like my older brother, like obviously he's like he's my step brother, but yeah. I don't look at it like that. He was he's been there from the get go. Yeah, and yeah. We've, always, we've always been close. So I tell us, I don't look at that half brother shit. I yeah, just yeah, my yeah. brother in it. Like, yeah, 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 like, yeah. That's my blood. No, I'm saying it's blood, it's blood anyway. Yeah, it's blood, yeah, blood. Yeah, 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 no yeah. matter what. So, I just wondering if they had the same pups. You know? But obviously, my two younger brothers, same mum, same dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, for me now, like my mum visited me every, and that's what ca- kind of kept me cool. Cause that's, I, that was it when you were in boarding school. Yeah, cause I was like, when I first landed in Nigeria. I was a rebel. I'm fighting teachers. Obviously, because I'm from England, yeah, they, like, I'm delicate. Yeah, they're, they're yeah, on delicate. you. They're on you. Yeah, I'm they're they're back. But did they break you? I won't say they broke me, but they put me through hell, innit? Yeah. But you felt, did you, did you, did you, did your attitude, your perspective? Yeah, your, your, your that changed quite life? a lot. Like, that changed quite a lot, like, in a sense where, like, greetings, like, even up till now, like, I see aunt, I see elders, oh, hello auntie, hello uncle. That's always stuck with me from even before I went to Nigeria, but being in Nigeria, yeah, you can get stuck in the face for not even greeting someone. It's, it's, it's one-on-one respect, though, yeah. for me. It's like the same thing. Like, yeah, one-on-one, one-on-one respect. respect. Yeah. It's like that's lost here a lot. It's lost, yeah, it's, it is. It's lost here. Like, now that I'm older, I'm thinking, raw, right, like, some of these youths, I'm not blaming them, but some of them are actually lost in the sense where they don't know like the identity, values. identity crisis yeah There's no values. values no values and values are instilled before you like you said from your peers the people you look up to whoever they may be the things that you're seeing yeah if you're not exposed to any good values or no values whatsoever you're left to your own own devices Our devices yeah you must be the first man on the planet yeah and you just like blindly yeah. going people um searching your way through what you're doing you know yeah so i want to hear about the rest of the crime the rest, the rest of the, of the, the negative, negative when thing. so when you come back from when I, Africa, you see, when I, you see when I came back from Africa now yeah this is 2007 I wasn't even supposed to come back how did you get back I tricked my mum in it so cool she'll probably watch this if you can eh? Yeah. Yeah. So, what did you say? <laughs> yeah, so she'll probably watch this. I'll probably show the video. Don't she, worry. She, this, yeah. she loves you. What's done is done. It was the done, done, yeah. gone on the bridge right now. Yeah. This is the least of your worries. I'm telling so, you. So obviously now. Um, yeah, I'm in. Nigeria. I'm still in Nigeria. She coming for the summer holiday now. These times, I was supposed to go back a year before, but they're like, no. Why don't you do uni here? I was like, okay. I'm like, what can I do? Obviously, me. I was doing my re- what little did I know when it came to this. When she came back. I was already planning. Like, I, I was, pr- I've been plotting from the first time I landed. How are you gonna go get back? back? <laughs> I was determined. The great escape. I was, yeah, I was determined. Like, mm-hmm. so many failures, yeah, so many shortcomings. But I was determined. I was like, no, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to watch. I'm going back this year. Mm. So obviously, I, my dad lost. I think something happened where he lost my passport, my British passport, and my Nigerian passport. So, he lost it. Yeah, this accidentally was, on purpose. I think it got stolen to oh. Nigeria. Like, yeah, I don't really know what's that. Yeah. It's our country, isn't it? Yeah, it's our country. Come on. <laughs> so obviously now, like, my mum, like, I'm telling my mum, look, mum, like, obviously, the university, I was supposed to go back September, but obviously I lied, I said it's on down strike, innit? I said on strike because unpaid wages or whatever. I'm like, oh, no, they're going back October, ending of October, so I might as well come back to the UK, do my British passport and come back. Uh-huh. While I'm in Nigeria, I do my Nigerian passport, that's all sorted. And you know how the system, you see Nigeria, if you have money, you go a long way, innit? Of course, of course, <laughs> you're of course. Fast track, you're, it's, yeah. you're, it's a fast track. So I got my Nigerian passport within you a week. Can't do it anymore, though. Yeah, you can't do it anymore. You can't do it anymore. <laughs> can't do it anymore. And then my British passport, they had like a British embassy, like somewhere, like, like if you've lost, if you're a British citizen, you can go there, yeah. get an emergency yeah. passport, like, got money now. And then, yeah. Go I like I went there, done the paperwork, whatever I need to do. Next thing I know, I have my passport. And obviously, like, if I'm being honest here, yeah, how I got the money to even buy my own ticket, like, like from birth here, yeah, I had like kind of a, I had an injury in my arm in it, so I had like compo in it, so yeah, I was, okay. I was able what, to what fund. You, what do you mean you had an injury in your arm? Wasn't like, basically, I was a big baby in it, and I came out of my, like, they forced me out of my mum's arm and kind of got nerve damage on my right arm. Okay. So I was forced to use my left hand. So, okay. all of so that. Who forced you out your mum's arms? Sorry? Who forced you out your mum's arms? Doctors. Why? 
I was a big baby, I was like eating whatever mum was eating. I was oh, a 10 pound baby. They forced you at your mum, oh, when you were a birth? Yeah, I was the size of two twins. Oh, yeah. wow. Two yeah. twins? Two twins, you know. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, a pair of twins, like two babies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like twins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what you meant, I knew yeah, what you meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. So, obviously, I funded my own ticket. Like, I was so determined that, like, obviously, I had to, like, I can't so get... Did you still get that money? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it when I was 18, but I was in Nigeria at the time. So my mum had to come down and... So it was a lump sum? Yeah, it was a lot, yeah, it was quite a lot of money, I'll be real. And I'll even get onto that and I'll tell you the fuck is that's happened around that as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, please do. So, what happened was, like, yeah, I funded my own ticket. So I managed to pay for it. And, like, you won't guess how much I paid. I, this is the night before my mum was travelling. And obviously my dad didn't know, but my dad, yeah, you see my dad, he's like, he's like, it's like he can see into the future. He's like, are you sure he's coming back? Are you sure? I was like, no, he's coming back. I was like, I, I, I was like, dad, no, I promise I'm coming back. I know in my head I ain't coming back. Yeah. yeah. I know what I'm yeah, doing. Yeah, I know, yeah, 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 I know yeah, what I'm doing. Get the hell out of Dodge. Yeah. <laughs> so, obviously, I paid like almost £2,000 just like, this is economy class. It's not business class or first class. Economy class where you get small leg space. Yeah. But I was like, anything. It's the day before? Yeah, day before. And Three then, grand? Yeah, yeah, two grand. Two grand. Two grand, yeah, so. I mean, what, what, what year was this? 2017. Yeah. So obviously, I'll go over there now. And then, yeah, I don't come back in it. Like, obviously, the de- I had a return ticket. So when you got back, yeah, when, no, go on, you can talk about this Nigeria, but yeah. I want to know. So when you got here from that Niger, yeah. now. You, you're free now. You're free, free now. Well, you yeah. feel like you're free I feel now. Like I'm fresh home, yeah. But you're free to do what to put, to continue to pursue your academic career because you're you're intelligent. You, uh, you've yeah, excelled I was in supposed school to, here. You was, I, yeah, I was supposed to come back to the UK just to do my passport and cut when. It, no, I understand yeah. that, but for me, like I'm just asking oh, yeah. you now. You as a man, you already knew you wasn't gonna go back. Yeah, I already knew. But you also know that you was in school. And you had this problem, that problem. You know you got the grades from this level. You also know that um, in the school, this happened to these people. You know you've been yeah. sent home for you to have a better life because yeah, this, yeah, is, yeah. this is what our culture does. But you're yeah, 19 you, at this time as you're well. Not, so you're, you're 19 yeah. now. 19, you've been yeah. there. You've suffered the the, 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 the the beating, the whatever from boarding school. You've seen how hard it is. You can make your own decisions. Yeah, you, now you can make your own decisions. But I'm saying like, when did, did you make the decision to now, okay, I've got the brains, I've seen what it's about, I want to buckle down, get these degrees, get these um, things. You know, you've what, got, you've what got was more your... options, isn't it, at that age? Huh? So, My so options. What I'm talking about, his head was, when he, you you know, like, when he got here, yeah, yeah, free yeah, again, yeah, yeah. What, was what was his first thing? Because I'm going to make money to feel naked. I was like, I'm never happy to be again, so yeah. I want to study, 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 make my money, and no one can't send me nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, what was it for him? You see what it is for me, yeah? Because the money I had around me, that's why I want to kind of elaborate on that as well. Like, because I made... Fuck, I made stupid mistakes with that money, I'll be honest. I'll you flushed. Well, just give us a ballpark figure. It's gone now, like, it's history. How much yeah, was it? Yeah, like, I'll be like six figures, like probably almost 200 bags. Yeah. Yeah, serious. Like, it was, that's what I'm saying. It was serious. Like, I didn't have to go to school. Like, I thinking I could have went clear. If I, if I, like, I would be real, yeah, I'll come back. And you know, I, I kind of went at a time, yeah. I went to Nigeria at a time where I wasn't, I didn't really have, like, when I'm coming back to, when I came back to London, there were laws of things like there's just things that I wasn't open to when I was 15 or that younger one. like like certain clothes that like, I had the ability that like, obviously I was buying clothes and that but it's one of the ones like Christmas presents you get air forces and that so okay. when I had the money I was not exposed like I was doing this drip shit before everyone was calling it drip so mm. I'm going Harrods when I was 19 I'm, I'm buying a mad I'm doing a mad thing I'm going parties, I'm flexing with girls, I'm buying ta- I'm buying tables, I'm going on holiday. Mm. And funny enough, I went on holiday, I went to, I went to Dubai, that's how I went to Dubai. And like, yeah, I was living life, like, it was a point where I was just, I won't lie, it's a thing where I was so young-minded, I was spending money, but nothing was coming in. Of course, you, was, you wasn't aware, was you, in. you wasn't educated in how to, how to, how to manage them. I don't blame no one for that. So wait, so the, I want to have a yeah. clarity. You said you was the size of two babies. You was you was you was a big baby, yeah. Yeah. And you was pulled out of your mum's womb. Yeah. This this arm came up first. My left hand. Okay. This arm got stuck. The arm got stuck. So yeah. that, in yeah. actual fact, that happening. What the, the hospital paid like was liable and they paid you this money, they paid your mum the money. Yeah, I, yeah, and I'll be on like my mum yeah, and like she even says it to me sometimes, she's like 
It was because I'll be real. It's because of her I kind of got that money. She was going up and down. Bear in mind, she would be travelling to like Bournemouth and all that to go and have these meetings. Bear in mind, my immediate younger brother is in her stomach and she's still trapped. I'm in the push chair. She's pregnant and she's gone up and down trying to fight for my money. Oh, we know, we know, women are strong, it's but they, they even yeah. when, it's, when it's your mother, when it's my mother, uh, and I'll be powerful, honest, yeah, they can do I'll, anything. Mothers yeah, can do anything. And I'll be honest, yeah, like I wish, like it's, it's got its habit. It's, it's just lesson. It's a learning curve now, but like she will always say, be careful, like don't spend your money. These times, I'll be real, yeah. She used to hold my bank card, mm. and I like I didn't understand why. For mum, I'm a big man. Like why are you holding my bank card, man? Like. I'll, let me do what I want to do <laughs> but was obviously lady. like I'm not seeing that she's trying to basically help me to stop spending money stupidly yeah, yeah, and like yeah. do something smart with it and I eventually did like I invested like, uh, like I've got properties in it like Good. auction properties you know do all of that there mm-hmm. that's, 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 that's there in it and then um, obviously the majority of it the rest is spending 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 so spending then, so disgustingly so, so, so how did we end up then? Because this man, now I was under the impression that I was under the impression that you had gone from school, come back, like yeah. you're on this in the streets, like most people that I know. You see what it is? I'm basically, I'm gonna get to that now. You see, I was like, okay, cool. Like I was like, I got to a point where yeah, where I was spending a bit too much, and I thought, you know what? Like if I'm, I can do my own thing. Like I can invest in something and do my own thing. Obviously, I was 20 now. I'm like, you know what? At these times, I've never been up there, innit? I've never been out there, countryside, I've never been there. So, the first, like, if, I, if I'm going there, it's for like caravan holiday. I'm going there for holidays or breaks. I'm not going there to do, to do shit. So, I went, that's the first, like, so 2018, the first time I'm going up there now. And this is because I'm going, even though I don't have to, I still want to spend my money in it. So, I think, you know what? I'm just going to go up there and I'll see what it's like. Stayed up there for like a week or so. Up there is what, like? OT, like, how people say OT is now, isn't it? Mm-hmm. As what? OT, like. OT? Yeah. OT? Oh, yeah, out of town. Ah, you see yeah. I'm old, you know? Yeah, yeah, countryside, that's what I said, countryside. Country, country. Yeah, countryside, yeah. Yeah, out of town, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of town, so. Yeah, yeah. I went, yeah, doing that now, and then obviously, I was still hanging around, so obviously, everyone's growing up these times. But this OT, it's OT and you're doing something OT, yeah? You're making money, obviously. Yeah, making money, yeah. Okay, I making understand. Now I, now I understand. This I grasp. This I can comprehend. Uh, now I'm making money. And then obviously, the influence that like, I'm now, like, what, obviously, where I'm growing up. Obviously, that Lego block, time I come back from Nigeria as well, that's all knocked down. They turn it into a different, like, it's still an estate, but it's all, like, a nice new flats. Cool, after that now, I was like, you know what, I don't spend money red to tell, go OT. But then I started, like, obviously, this, like, these times, my brother, like, he was incarcerated in it for, like, he'd done Which like, one? My youngest, like, not the youngest, sorry, the one but just behind me. Middle brother? Yeah. He was, like, he's incarcerated for, like, so, what is that, my thing in it? <laughs> like, oh. kind of bad, like, that like, GBS. I can't really go into too much detail, because obviously, with the case he's still like, Yeah, because of like recent events, it could implicate him. But right, cool. Well, then, yeah, cool. Yeah. Then done. Done the talk. Enough talk. Enough yeah. said. But, yeah? um, cool. What is it about you? We don't want to implicate him like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, he was in jail at these times. And he was doing a bird. Like, he was like he was just starting. Like, the time I came back, he was, he was still in jail. So, like, it was only me, my mum, and my, and my youngest brother. And obviously, I wasn't, like, I was kind of selfish. And the reason I was being selfish is because, like, people are just telling me what to do with my money. I think you don't tell me what to do with my money. Like, if you're not, like, the only reason I invested, like, that was, I was even reluctant because my uncle... Mm-hmm. He was reluctant. I was reluctant mm-hmm. to actually invest. And it sounds mad, but, yeah, because, like, people say invest in this, invest in that, yeah. But where's the evidence? Where's the paper? Where's the documents? That's like, right. I studied business... I know about business studies, mm. so I know about yeah. I need I need document. I need a certificate. Money drops. You got big good, good yeah. friends, yeah. Yeah. So, and that, that's when I started learning that people are just there for the money, man. Like I start being selfish, or yeah, I got like yeah. My mom will get on to me or spending money on girls. Not really. I don't. I ain't buying girls gifts and that. Maybe my ex I did, but if I'm going to hotel and I'm paying for the, I'm paying for myself. I'm I'm enjoying myself as well. Mm. If I'm taking a girl out to eat. Come on, let's like I'm like come on, we're all grown men, yeah. You take a guy to eat. 
we're gonna we ain't gonna be like oh can you pay us come on like, us men we're gonna take it mm. but like, you know what we'll pay for that easy if, if you got the money if you got the money yeah but i never I, like i didn't even know about i didn't go hackerson or i went to basic restaurants even mm. though i could have went hackerson mm. i mean i'm a gentleman too but i've never yeah. been afraid of saying let's go dutch yeah <laughs> like, you see what it is? i'll pay i'll pay like, but you see what it is like, it's, like, it's, like, it's a test for me i'll ask them yeah. not take it for yourself they say yeah I'm, yeah you still want to pay but you want to see where they're don't, at yeah don't get twisted Come. like some girls they'll actually pay like yeah they will pay like they'll be and like they tell them, no 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 like, but obviously, I was kind of a sh- like yeah show off. I'm buying three thousand pound trainers. I'm I'm buying. I'm doing this shit, and at the same time, I'm I'm trapping. Like I'm I'm going up there. Innit? I'm Let's get to this morning. Do the do, do, do the thing, and then obviously I started like I thought you know what if I'm doing this thing I need to kind of protect myself. But I didn't like I'll be real. Where would I get if I, to get the one pop? I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm getting at. So obviously, like. You know what we call ZKs, like zombie, like hmm? ZKs, Rambo's. That's what I was like touching nice, at the time. Nice. Yeah, big oh, knives, man. like serious knives. Like this side. Like, what, they Z- what they use today? What they use? What majority of young youth have today is what ZK's, I was using back then. Like that's what we used to have when we jump. But we never, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, like not that no, I advocate. No. No, 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 back in the day, people used to carry flip knives. No, 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 no. See, like not me personally. Yeah. And I'm saying I'm not trying to vindicate myself for nothing, but. We I see you have a lot of Chinese friends and people Chinese from West End. Yeah, I don't them people they used to. No, I'm not saying they did, didn't. I'm just saying it wasn't it wasn't a common thing back. Then. Oh yeah, yeah, no, it, it wasn't common. Yeah, okay, 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 yeah, common yeah, yeah. Like, I'm telling you, yeah, like <laughs> it's so it's just basically how to get one now is so it's easy as ordering trainers online. Exactly, easy. So What's that? Easy. The big Rambo. The big nice. Rambo's. How? And they're horrible, like they got like horrible, jacks. Right? I'm telling like, you, yeah, 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 yeah. That goes inside. Yeah, it's the lot. Like, there's wounds. The lot. Some, like, some of the some of the ones that you see, you'd be like, what the fuck? And they're just ordering them, and they come from online. They come straight. And they're work. cheap. They're not expensive. They're they're, cheap. You can get them for like twenty pound, thirty pound. So yeah, with cases and all of them. With cases, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's what these some of all different these type of. You can even get you can even get bow and you can get crossbows on that as well. Yeah, back in the day, someone got stabbed. A lot of people survived stabbings back in the day. But like these days they don't survive. Yeah, so maybe like back in your day, it's probably like a kitchen knife or at least like even a flip, a flip knife. Yeah, yeah like flip. you know, like even when them butterfly knives, where yeah. the, the blades about this big or ratchet, ratchet. But the blades about that big, isn't it? Maximum, yeah. and even that's a big blade. Them yeah. blades, yeah. But like nowadays, you've got nowadays machetes that can cover this whole table. Like the whole table. You're, people are but carrying them in their legs. I mean, I, I and nowadays in my day. It wasn't that. It was like bad man used to do their thing, like real bad man used to do their thing. Yeah. And yeah. it was so bad they didn't have to stab you. They didn't stab you. They cut you in the face. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, that yeah. would be it. They wet you. They let you live. They the wet point. you. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. make their point. You they see, still walk around. See now. what I want to add to that, yeah. And it, and it kind of still happens now. You see most of these dudes that carry these knives, that they, they, they ain't got a heart for it. They're scared. It's fear. They're fear, yeah. yeah. Totally. Totally. I'm totally. telling you, the we're gonna get to that. You know? The bigger fear, isn't it? Because you just want to keep people away from yeah, you. Yeah. Like, yeah. We're gonna get to that. Most people say protect. You see what it is. Why I carried a knife here was protection. Like obviously, what I was doing, what I was doing, it's protection. Mm. It's protection. And then when people that like, no one, no one in the right sense will say I'm carrying a knife because I want to shank up my man. Yeah, stupid. Because they don't want to get shanked. You don't want to basically. Get, you don't want to get shanked. Come on, let's be real. Yeah, we live in a world where it's it's a dog eat dog world. It's kill or be killed or use or be used, isn't it? But that's that's, you, that's, that's how know. I that's how I see. Yeah. It. That's if you live on that frequency. Yeah, if you live, yeah. Thank you. If you live on that frequency, that's how it goes. Like if you live and die by the if you live by it, you die by it. Yeah, if you're around things like that. Yeah, you're if around things like that. Yeah, that like, is the frequency. It's yeah. The frequency. Yeah. That's how it goes. So obviously doing my thing now, then I kind of obviously I was still spending money, and it got to a point where like yeah, money was starting to go like that. So I was like, raw like. I'm spending like I didn't even invest in a car. I'm, all, like, I'm doing this thing, but why am I not investing in a car? I had my provisional driver license. I was just so the money like I won't even say it got to my head because I was generous. At the same time, people were asking me, can I borrow five bills? Easy, go and take it, do your thing. Like I, I, I was generous in that sense. I wasn't even stingy. So like it was a thing where yeah, the money started going low. Boom, boom, boom. And I thought, you know what, fam, I need to actually now have to put my heart into this thing now. So I remember. Oh, the OT stuff? Yeah, OT stuff. So yeah, I went there. Like, this is still 2018. The first part was in Essex, the other part was in Southwark, like Ipswich. How long after you came back was this? A year. A year. So it took a year. a year to burn through your cash yeah. and then you had to start. 
Yeah, and it's supplementing what, it. Yeah, and you see what it is like. Even from back when I was in Nigeria, I was still updated. That's how I even found out my like someone I'm at school with got shot. Like that's how, and that's how that all Wait, yeah, all that politics here or there. I was in Nigeria when it happened. They got shot here. They got shot here. All right. And like that, like, we went to the same school as a cool you. Like and that's what shot and killed. Shot and killed. Yeah, got shot in his head. He wasn't even a. It wasn't even a target. It wasn't even a target. Someone else was a target. Someone else was a target. Wrong place at the wrong time. Got him straight in his head. So, it's a thing where, even when I came back, I just knew, I was like, what's everyone on? Kind of thing. Even up to the year I was, I was, I was trapping now, uh, yeah. I was like, what's everyone on? Like, I can't be, like, that's why I didn't, I didn't put myself in a gang. I'm just myself in, I'm making my money. I'll give a fuck about a gang. I don't care about that. Mm. I just, I just want to make money. Like, I just want to, mm. you know, don't be telling me who shanked up who, telling me what, I'll, I'll be real, what spot can we open or what can we do, like, what can we invest the money in, that kind of thing. But obviously I'm still young-minded, so I'm all, I'm thinking illegal shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And obviously protection, I didn't know where to get the mad thing from. I only, I only managed to get my, hand, my hands on tools, like shanks and that. So doing that now, I'll, and then, yeah, Ipswich, that's where I first got arrested. Ipswich? Yeah, man. <laughs> first got arrested. I know what, like. Hip switch. It was sweet at first, didn't it? Like, money coming in every day. Boom, boom, boom. You see where it was? I was licking the shots at the same time. I didn't have a younger. I'm licking the shots, licking the shots. Boom, boom, boom. I'm flying the birds. Then, boom. That November 7th, I think. Yeah, November 7th, yeah. I'm just walking. Like, no, I'm I'm licking my last shot. I'm, I'm ready to go back to ends to bake off. I thought, you know what? I'm on a, I know I'm on a radar. But... I got too carried away. I was like, yeah, like, they ain't gonna catch me. I've seen the, I've seen the boy them, but they ain't gonna catch me. <sighs> Tell the lie, yeah. I'm, I'm on the back, here. Yeah. At a junction on one- Like of a cab or driving? I was on the back. Like, oh, on a bike? Yeah, pedals. Push bike? Yeah. Okay. So I see feds. They drive past me, like going this way, they make a U-turn. I didn't think enough of it. But I was like, hmm. Why are they making a Utah like that? Like this? That's kind of funny. Didn't think nothing of it, still across the road. I see a car now, I see like Ford Mondeo, a red Ford Mondeo, pulls up next to a man. He's like, excuse me. <laughs> me like an idiot, yeah. I think they're trying to ask for directions. I'm like, <laughs> I look here, yeah, and the next thing I know, they do jump out gang. I think, I thought it was niggas at first. I thought, what? They thought it was on. Yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was at that time. I was going to back off the Ford Mondeo, though, come on. Yeah, that's just, uh, uh, Even me, I'm old, but I know. Yeah, like, I was like, oh, you see where it's, I was high as well, innit? Like, I was slacking okay. that day. I was slacking that. Like, luckily, I didn't even have nothing on me, but that day, boom, they found money, found, like, one pep. One pep. Uh, How much money? Oof. Almost a bag. And that was just in one day. And bearing in mind, obviously, that like, money was elsewhere. Like, it was kept elsewhere, so. Like, yeah, I got caught with a bag. And then, yeah, I've got bag now. This is the first time I got bag and I'm going to a cell. Going to a cell, sit down. No comment, no comment, no comment. Actually, no. Yeah, yeah, I said no comment, obviously, but I got a solicitor. Cause I was like, at first, they like, you, cause obviously, they asked me if you want legal aid, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Me being the first time I got bag and I'm going, to, like, going through this procedure, I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. I know, like, I know what I'm doing. I'm good, no, 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 no. Then, I don't know, last minute, I said, can I have a solicitor, please? <laughs> <laughs> like, can I have a solicitor, please? Hey, you wise up, yeah? And funny oh, enough, yeah. the solicitor has the same name as me, innit? And then... Is he Nigerian? No, 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 he's a white geezer. With glasses, but the wow. same name. Um, wow. The same government. Yeah. So, the irony is, is that he he was from, he grew up where I grew up, like Barking and Dugnam. Wow. That's the irony of it, and he was good. I was like, he got me, he's the one that got me sent home. Mm. He got me sent home pending investigation, red right, Even with that, I got sent home now. And then I remember going back home, and then my mum was like, obviously, I ain't trying to show my mum I got bagged, didn't it? But then she just sees that it says slip. I was slipping, I was slacking. She sees the letter now. She's she getting slacking. What, what do you mean? You was high? Yeah, I was high. Like, I was still high. Like, that day, I was small, that like, wake and bake kind of thing. I was still high, and then what now happened was I got home. I was still I was slacking like I just threw the paper. I didn't care about. Little did I know my mom was looking at it. And my mom's slick. 
she like she will she will question she won't question you about it but she will like try she yeah, try to be yeah. slick with it and it works for her so <laughs> not only her but I'm telling you not lecture, only her like, that, that, that day lecture no beat obviously I'm, I'm a big man now Just, mm. the lecture was long she wanted to kick me out she said she regrets bringing me back to the country yeah. and I understand why Like, it's, how did you feel at that time how did I feel at that time I felt like I felt like why did I, I didn't have to do this but then I just but, did, you, sorry, did, did you feel like you violated her yeah I thought I violated her because I thought look like she like, she trust I knew she, like, like for me to come back and do this, I broke her trust. I knew that she couldn't trust you. I just knew. So, she, like even up to this day, she's like, I hope you're not doing. It. I hope you're not doing. It. But, but like, oh, like it's fucked, car. I still continue, don't it? And this is the same person he said is the only person you could talk to is there for you, and so on and so forth. Because yeah. a lot of us do it, and yeah. then even though you know when you're doing something, you're about to do something wrong, you still went ahead and did it. Yeah, but it's only yeah, after yeah. the fact. Hindsight's a motherfucker. It makes you feel you feel the remorse. You feel you feel yeah, bad for what yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it was your mum, you let her down. You let her down, and I was like, oh man. And you know what? So mad, I still continue. <laughs> you still? <laughs> I got banned. I still want up there. It's, um, yeah. It depends the reasons you continued for, because there's different reasons. Sometimes it's peer pressure. Sometimes it's, it's lack of funds. Like, I was a big. I was, I was a peer pressure. I was. I was bored. Like these times, I didn't have money like that no more. Like obviously, I had investments, which even up to this very day. Thank you. Thank you. I can't touch it. Like I can't touch it. Our investments are still there, but I can't touch it. Innit? So it's, one of them was long term. It's good, but now, nah, like. But after, after all the money you spunk, you shouldn't really, you don't really need to touch it, do you? Let it yeah, grow, right? Let it grow, and that's when, that's when I kind of start realizing my mindset. But I was still in a trap. I was still had a trap mindset, and obviously, where I was from now, like obviously, I started shouting like loud on the, like weed on the side as well. And so this is now in London. In London, so obviously my mom didn't know. Obviously, I'd like I'll be re- I'll be renting out apartments just to bag up weed. Mm-hmm. Just a bag up and yeah, do my thing. Okay, so this is what I say. You see, even though I don't think not that my opinion matters totally, you're not using it appropriately. You're still using that intelligence. That you use, yeah. That, yeah, you're still using I'll your stop intelligence. I'm stubborn. Like, I'm one of the ones I don't learn. Like, I, I literally, I just don't like. I can learn, but I don't learn. My, like, I don't learn from not mistakes, but from the punishments I've been getting, or learn from like the wrongdoing I've done. So it's a thing where like yeah, old oh, 2019 came now. And then, um, like, I'll still do. I'll still going up there. I'll still going. Still up there. Do you, do you, do you, let me just ask you this, yeah? Yeah. Because you're saying you don't learn, and I think like every human being, well, most of us, especially like black men as well, we're very hard on ourselves. Yeah. You say you used to be intelligent. You're still intelligent now. Yeah, yeah. You say 100%. you don't learn. Maybe you learn, but because of the lifestyle you was already used um, to, yeah, you're trying to maintain yeah. it, or you just that, that the money sometimes, is making from it. Yeah. Sometimes I think like our, t- our intelligence works against us yeah yeah it does so same time yeah, it, like, yeah. it, it works you, you can make it work for you it yeah. can work against you exactly no, if, 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 you, if you couldn't if you couldn't think of all that stuff and you just had to do a 9 to 5 you're doing a 9 to 5 because you have that intelligence I, level you see I was going to add to that 9 to 5 part yeah you never guess where I first worked before I even started splashing my money McDonald's that's where I first worked I forgot to add that McDonald's yeah I was actually I was like, like I was like I had that work effort but <laughs> That takes minerals as well. Yeah, like McDonald's, yeah. It's a hard place to work. It's like, I won't lie, that's like, it was a hard place to work. The salary revenue, what the fuck? Like, why am I working here when I like, I got like times, times a hundred of that in my fucking bank account. Like, fam, fuck this, I'm quitting. I, like, just, I just didn't go to work. I was like, yeah, I'm quitting still. So? So from there, that's when I started to read the local, live and laugh, <laughs> doing whatever. Yeah, that's how kind of yeah from there. Isn't it? So, <coughs> so how did this this the incident the main incident that, that that I wanted to talk to you about with the reason that we actually talked about today? I want you to talk about that. I want to understand um, now what you said already. I've kind of got an idea how it could have even start to manifest itself. The story you told me already how people could have started watching you hating, being hungry, maybe seeing you as a target for for for, for various reasons, yeah. and the streets um, be letting you know. Yeah, like so, the streets, the streets be watching, and the streets, like yeah. for want of a better phrase, will hit back if they feel like they're starting to hit back onto. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So, so it's done. Okay, 2019, 2020, I'm still doing the same shit. In fact, I got like, I got bagged for Pee Wits twice last year. If I'm being honest with you, for 
Pewitt's possession with attempt to supply. P- say, say again? Possession with attempt to no, supply. No, the, 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 the acronym. The, the, the Pewitt's. Pewitt's? Yeah, Pewitt's. Is that a um, uh, legal term? Is this this? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Possession yeah. with attempt to supply. Wow. Yeah. I'm so far removed from this world. I was, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah, yeah. A, I'm oh, pleased it's because when I was young, it's bad, yeah, but I've like, got two pending investigations and that, that's for last, wow. year, like last year, isn't it? Wow. So, and you see the irony behind this now, yeah? Like, like what's about to unfold this year had nothing to do with what I was doing. That's the, that's just the funny part of it. So what what did the incident what happened? You you feel it has absolutely nothing to do with yeah, your life prior not, to this? Yeah, I might be only God knows, but I know for myself how I conduct myself. I know, yeah, I'm not involved in no gang, so I ain't got no target. But at the same time, yeah, I was doing my thing. Some people might be thinking, what? Yeah. So what happened? So what happened exactly was, what happened? I want you to tell me what happened. She was so mad. What happened was obviously I ain't gonna go too much detail, just in case you know. But you know the, yeah, way, the yeah. way that could be looking. Say what you, say what you could say. Like um, it's one of the ones where like January. If it's, 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 oh, cool, it's, cool, it's cool, started. Cool. One second, sorry, yeah. Andrew. Can I, can I just can I just maybe could you say how we met? Yeah. How, because how we met? Like yeah, I saw we, you. I saw your injury yeah, from a mile off. How we met? Yeah. So. Was in that what New England General? The hospital. Yeah, New England General Hospital. I'm, I'm coming from uh, for a ham therapy, like, like ham physio kind of thing, smoking outside, and then that's how I met you. I came. Across, I think I was walking in, mm. and then I was about to, you know, temperature and that like, procedure, and then obviously I came across. Uh, you, uh, you came to me and mm. asked me what happened to my arm. Yeah, because I see, I see yeah. me. I saw, I saw your arm from like a mile off. Yeah. I see this guy's arm from a mile off, right? And I'm talking like metal thread, like construction. Yeah, thread. he's got a plaster on it, and I'm seeing this stuff. But then he's got pins like inside it. Then he's got yeah. something connecting the pins, and I'm like, "Oh, what is? Mm. What is that? What actually happened?" Yeah. And then you, you told me exactly what's happened. I'm yeah. like, "Wow, you, this, this yeah. glad to see it's you real, here. Real, yeah. and you got a story to tell for real, yeah. man." So obviously, like, what happened? Obviously, how that happened was I got shown at that, and it's one of those ones where. Cool, some neck suits. I don't know who these suits are. I uh, own up to this day, fuck knows. I don't I don't know. But You're unaware of, of, of what yeah, it could have been? Yeah, I'm, I'm aware it could have been because they came prior to that. They came prior to that. What do you mean they came prior to that? You saw them kinda of like casing your joint or what like what they'll, come to, they'll come to my yard and brick in my yard. I don't know these suits by the way. I don't know who they are, I don't know what they So was they ballied up or you just you don't see the faces or what? I didn't look outside the window. They were just like my brother, my brother and my mum were telling me that ballied up, that they were covering their, their face, and obviously, just, just, if they were doing that, that would be the smart thing to do. They'll, they'll, mm. they'll cover their face. They don't want to be seen. So, so after the brick came our through the window, brick came through the window. My mum called. You see where? You see you now was. You see where? You see me, like me and the police. Yeah, I will never like, I will never ever 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 sit down and smile with the police. Like, if I had the chance to slap them in the face, I'll punch them. If, if they gave me a chunk one on one with a police officer in the room, oh boy, I'll Mike Tyson again. Even though, but it's, you see, okay, you see why finish. I say that because cool, they came, like, the feds came to the yard. I didn't want to speak to them. Fuck them. Like, that's how it goes, isn't it? This is after the brick incident. After yeah? the brick incident, they come half an hour later. My mum, bearing in mind, she's on a machine like dialysis. Mm. She's on dialysis. Because like, of the leak. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. like, I'm obviously, for my family, I'm going to protect. I don't care. I'm mm. protecting. Mm. Like, when it comes to my family, my mum's yard, of course. that's not a joke thing. I mean, that's not a joke thing. So, obviously, you know, it's a thing where, like, how can I put it? Yeah, the court, the court, that come now, red hair, tear, like, Guess what they say? You see what's so mad? And this is what like this is what vexed me to the core. Yeah. They're like, obviously, it's just me and my brother, me and my youngest brother like, at home. Mm. And they say, oh, you got two big black boys that can deal with them. If they come again, deal with them. Fuckers. The police said that. Police said that. Two officers, I can't remember their name. I don't give a fuck about their name, but. And this was, this was, this and was obviously, they were white as well. They yeah. were white as well, so. When it's them saying that that's inciting violence first and foremost. It's inciting, it's like, yeah. What kind of nonsense is yeah, that? Yeah, like they just want to get, they just want to get, trying to get someone on a rebound. I don't know what they're trying to do. They think they're smart. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Idiots, man. Then like. So this the next incident. The next how incident. how 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 long between the two incidents was the time? So 
January, about two months. Two months? February, like, they were still coming, but obviously, like, they, was, like, they weren't even bricking now, they're just trying to boot down the door, the door's too... So, okay, like, I'm confused, so they're coming to your yard, this is the second time they've come to your house, your mum's house, yeah? Yeah, yeah they've I don't... Thrown yeah. A brick through, yeah, thrown a brick through, and they've come, they've tried to kick down the door? Yeah, for no reason. And you don't, don't know who don't these know, people I are? I don't know who these people and are. And no one's, no one's been able to run up on no one and grab no one or nothing like that, or do nothing to no one, but they've been coming around doing this on a regular See, basis. I'll be real, yeah, there's a point where I'll be real, obviously, I was going to go out then, like, I was like... My mum stopped me from going out and doing a mad thing. I'll be real. But if you don't know who they are, where they come from, yeah. how can you do, what are you going to do? You can't just, yeah, you're going to do a mad thing too. Yeah, it's true. It's, one of, it's a thing where my mum, and I kind of realised it later, I was like, my mum stopped me from going outside because she said, look, you could have went outside and God knows what happens. But, like, she stopped The wrong me. person? Yeah, the March 16th came around the corner. That day, that more, what happened? That morning, it was just normal. That morning, I think I was... 220, yeah? Yeah. Uh, um, no, this is 2021. Okay. This is this year. So, this mo- obviously, I was, like, doing my thing. I was making money on the streets, whatever. Like, like green, like, the lard, in it? I was doing the lard. Well, you say, like, me as well. I don't want to take... No, let me let you talk. I was going to ask you how much you're making, but that's, that's, that's the matter. Yeah. So, I, was, like, I, was, I was making something reasonable. I'll be honest. Yeah, cool. I'll make something reasonable. So, it was a thing where... Like, that day, I'm coming back, I'm coming back now. I'm smoking with my boys. And then... <laughs> That's smoking again. We see a, we see a car, and it's like we see a car, the car's kind of booky. But we look, around, it wasn't even me that clocked the car, it was one of my other boys. He clocked it, and was like, yo, free that whip. We didn't go close to it, obviously. You don't know, you don't know what's inside, innit? We didn't go close to the car. We can't, like, went back inside, went inside my yard. We chilling, we playing FIFA or something. Out of nowhere, my brother comes into my room and tells me these boys are outside the crib again. I'm thinking, what? So obviously, we took out, like, we're ready, innit? <laughs> That's, let me put that that, we're just, we're ready. We go outside now. And I remember my mum telling me, don't go outside, don't How many of you was there? It's like, like, yeah, it's two of, like three of us. So me and then two other people. No, not, not including your brothers in that. My brothers went. One of my my brothers went. To, my my other brother went to work. My older <laughs> brother, obviously. No, I just want to know who who was you out there. So you and two of your friends. Yeah, me and okay, two of my friends, on. and then boom, like, t- yeah, we're just there now, and obviously we're looking for them. So I'm chilling at a certain spot in my um, on my on my estate, and we see a car come round. And then obviously one of my boys, he I don't know, he just clocked it from far. He's like, he's got a mad thing, he's got a mad thing. And then obviously my man backs out the dots. I see, I see some you come out with the dots, the mad thing. When you say the dots, because like, shotgun. I'm... Shot, yeah, that's, 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 it's a abbreviation for a shotgun. shotgun. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, like, I need to... I'm, shotgun, I, shotty, dotty. Yeah, yeah, as, yeah, as I get on, I'll learn the lingo, but yeah. I, I, yeah, 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 I don't yeah. know the, the abbreviations. Yeah. You know, was it sawn off? Was it straight? I know that stuff, but mm. was, you know what I'm I saying? Know, I, I'll be real. I just knew, like, I knew it was like a, it was a long thing. Okay, so I, it was sawn off. Sure, I'm not sure. If it was, no, if it was, that was a sawn off. If it's long, it's sawn off. I won't have this arm for you. Yeah, it would have sprayed more. Yeah. So it was a thing where, cool... I was like, obviously, you just, like, you can't, you're not going to win if you don't have a gun in a gunfight, and let me just put it like that. Ah, you can run, sometimes you can get away, but not so, really. I'll be real, it's the, be- the best thing you can do, and if you're smart, is to run, innit? Yeah. It's, it's common sense, like, mm. you're not going to, don't be, you're not a G, if you, let me, like, you see what's so mad as well, like, all this politics, yeah? Like, you can't be, you're not going to be a G standing there saying you're not going to run from a gun. You must you're not bulletproof. Stupid. No yeah. one's bulletproof. Like, ain't 50, this ain't 50 cent. This ain't no, this ain't no movie. No. This is real life. Exactly. Mm. This is yeah. happening live in the flesh. Like, mm. you know, you're, you're not waking up thinking, oh, it's a dream. Yeah. It's yeah. happening mm. right now. Yeah. I'm running, I'm running, running, running. And obviously, I've got smokers' lungs, man. Like, it's smoking. Yeah. You didn't pay off. Oh, so they were chasing yeah. you to sleep. So what so you saying? They got out of the car and was chasing you with a, with a big thing like that. Yeah, but they always chasing you, yeah, but they never bust yeah. no shots. They chased my other boy, but they didn't. He got away. He done a he done a mad thing to get away. I was like, he done a mad. He done a crazy thing. He, he like he done some athletic shit to yeah, get away. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he done. I was like, I got to give it to him. Yeah. He, he got. He he knew he knew how to get away. He got away. Then it's we, life or death. It's life. It's I choose life, life every death. time. Yeah, life a hundred. 
And then next thing I know, like I'm I'm running, I'm I'm slowing down. I'm not even wearing. I'm wearing tracksuit bottoms that are so baggy. My la- the, the shoes I was wearing, the laces are undone. Oh. I ain't got time to be tying up nothing. You weren't ready. I weren't ready. I can just remember my mum telling me stay in the house. Stay in the house. I, that's, that was a sticking in my head. But I was thinking, no, my boys were not. I have to go out with them. I, like that's that's a, that's the dickhead thing of I if I if I don't go out with them. Yeah. Oh, that's snaking it. Like, mm. No, I got yeah. like I got go I got go out there. The next thing I know, like all I, know, all I can just remember now is seeing a couple out of nowhere. That aim. I could just see the thing aiming for my chest or my head top. Put my arm out like that. Boom. Mm. Got, like, you can even see it swollen right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just covered it. Is it is, 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 have you still got plaster on there right now? Yeah, but I just covered it because, like, on camera, it's not nice set. Uh, no, I would have would see it if you don't mind showing us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, if it's not too painful. No, it's not painful. It's just obviously. No, no, you have to let people yeah. know what the, what yeah, this like, the ramifications. The wow. Oh. This, you know what this is? It's a muscle from man's leg. Wow. Yeah. So, wait, you getting, you got that? Yeah, look. Wow. Oh, so what, you put it up like this, and it's blasted. What, before they've done blasted, it? Like, it blasted here. Yeah. Like, it blasted here, it got stuck here. It shattered my bones. Look, if you see carefully, I can't yeah. lift it properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't hurt yourself, please. Yeah, don't don't hurt. Do. But the pellets everywhere. Yeah. Wow, I can see your fingertips as well. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. And you're saying they took, they took muscle from your leg? From here, put it inside here. Wow. That's why it's swollen like that, like it's soft. Presses. It's yeah, soft. yeah, I ain't pressing nothing, man. I'm, yeah. I'm squeamish as it is. Yeah. Um, um, wow. So, it, it, you know, when it hit you, what, and you felt the, the heat of the, of the, of, of the buckshot and that, yeah. what, what, what kind of went through your mind? Because they, what, they hit, did, when they unloaded, did they hit you once, did they hit you twice? Because I know there's two shots of the shotgun. Right. They've shot you, you've run. What, what's, what's been next? They shot me now. I did two. I think there was two shots and then my boy apparently was telling me there was more they were shooting more did you fall? yeah I felt yeah so yeah. I got shot first I fell the shot again but missed I just see smoke like the second shot I just see go through some next advertising board and oh, so you saw it, you saw the impact of the gun or the bullets or the, yeah, the box smoke yeah, yeah. Sort of bare, like bare powder and then I got hit on the floor but I got straight back up Adrenaline kicked wait, in. Wait, 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 so you got hit on the floor, you got shot while you was on the floor, or you got shot, when you got shot, you went to the ground? I went to the ground and got straight back up. And I okay. Ran. And that's, that was, I think that was my, that was my downfall because I was running, yeah? And then, as I, as I was running, I'm losing a lot of blood. Like, I'm... I'm your blood's look, pumping, I'm pumping. looking at my yeah. arm, my flesh is wide open, like, it's open, it's like, it's like, it's like open, you could just see yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. It's a mad thing, like... Then I collapse on the road. Mm. How far from the from your house? How far from the place where you shot? Ah, uh, like like a three minute walk. Cause was right, anything in your vicinity? I live near a motorway, so like all yeah. used to. But like where at that time, yeah, it was just is that like the motor was local. It was local, like it's pretty much local. It's mm. the neighbourhood. That's like it wasn't far at all. Mm. I'm on the floor now. I'm on a mo- I'm not even on a floor. I'm on a road, like traffic light, like it's a motorway junction. So it's like a junction. It has traffic lights. I'm running. I'm trying to run towards my yard, but I'm not making. I, I'm. I collapsed at the traffic light in front of a lorry. So I ran in front of a lorry. I fell. Wow. Lorry was lorry driving. Yeah, but you know it's about to slow down. Yeah, it was yeah. a red light. It was about to slow down. So it didn't get me at all. But the car was coming back. And For fuck's sake. And I was like, oh, like And you could see this, you was aware yeah, of this. Yeah, yeah, I was aware of this, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm dead, isn't it? Like, oh, fuck that. Like, oh, Sign my death warrant and it is what it is now, man. Like, what can I do? So in your head, you just, you, you'd just given up. You'd resided to the fact that you're going to die now. Yeah, These yeah. guys are coming back and they're going to finish yeah, it, yeah? Yeah. Next thing I know, like, they just drive past me. I was like, what the fuck? Like, in my head, I know going for all of the truth, like, going for all of this shit, yeah. I just, like, when I now realised that they just drove past me. I thought, at least they're going to paralyse my leg, like they're going to fuck up my They're going to come and fuck you, like do you shoot you again basically? Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. But they, they just, they missed. They uh, just like, they ran over the edge of my foot. My feet, my legs were already out of my shoe. So it like basically ran over like the tip of my shoe. So did they try to run you over as well, you think? I, I doubt it because... 
You just don't know. Yeah, I could, I could, like, we used to I was writing a, I was writing a way to, yeah. to get run over. Yeah. And then yeah. for some weird reason, I, I, I probably think it's God. To be yeah, honest, yeah. I'll be real. Yeah. I just think it's God because yeah. that thing there, like nine times out of ten, someone's getting run over. Yeah. That someone's getting finished. And then, so after, after, what, from the last thing you remember, them driving past now. What's the next thing that happened that you remember happening? Remember happening? Getting back up. I got back up now. So you, you stood up now. You're leaking claret and everything. Yeah, I'm getting back, back up, up, yeah. I'm getting back up now, yeah. And it's a thing now where we're stopping cars, like help, help. All I need is to wrap around my wound. Mm. No one's helping. I'm like, oh look. I told my boy, look, let me just, just go. Like I'm good. Like just make sure that my uh, our other boys were right in it. Just make sure he's good. But I'm not. I know I'm not good. I'm dizzy, dizzy. I'm like, yo, like I'm against the wall, like some fence kind of thing. And then I just, I, I remember just falling back, falling back and then collapsing again. Yeah, that's the last thing you remember? Or? Last thing and then I just remember my eyes rolling backwards and I'm not responding now. Mm. And then like, I just remember saying, yeah, and anyone that ever gets in this situation, I'll say this on camera, yeah, don't be afraid to call to the most high, innit? Yeah. Don't be afraid. Yeah. And that's, that's me talking, that's just real shit, innit? Mm. Don't, there's no one bigger than God, innit? Yeah, Come like on. there's like there's, it's, when you, when it comes to life and death, there's no there's no such thing as pride or no. ego. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be real. I'll like God spared my life. My oh, man. And what did he do? You spared my life. And yeah. I remember just getting a sign up. Like you know the recovery position when you lie yeah. on, on your side. Yeah, someone. I managed to put myself in wow. recovery position, and then all I remember is just pff, the boy don't come, the ambulance. Mm. Then, for some reason, it took bad time. Obviously, they gave me oxygen marks. They cut me up, like, they cut up my clothes and that. Mm. See if I got shot anywhere else. And then, um, I remember just telling my people, look, just tell my mum I'm going to be all right, innit? Just tell my mum I'm going to be all right. Like, mum must be going out of her mind when she heard that, when, 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 when she, um, she got me, the message. She told me, yeah, that, like, she couldn't cry, that she was in shock. Because when my boy and I got hot to my house, she told my mum, he told my mum, oh, like he don't he don't, he don't know himself and wanna make it or not. So my mum didn't know if I should hey. like, And then I remember Imagine I, hearing that. You you so, uh, I can't mad. imagine hearing that. It's mad, it's mad still like it's now it's, it's now when I got to the hospital, I'm I'm in the like, urgent treatment centre. Yeah, you should like, see. Urgent yeah, care centre, yeah, yeah. Urgent uh, yeah, urgent care centre. So I'm now getting treated on. Like they're giving me something that's like balloons. Like if those that Take balloons like all this like candy. Yeah, it's a gas. Yeah, yeah it's a gas. It's gas. Yeah. Yeah. And it make can, it makes you dizzy, but it actually yeah. helps. It actually helps. It gives it to pregnant women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then obviously you've done that now, but you know what's so mad? Left, right, and center, people are dying in front of me. Hmm. Like you were probably in recess. I'll be real. Yeah, I was. In, I was getting in recess. I was that. Like, you was in recess. On the way to hospital, recess. I was dying. Like the, if I didn't have the oxygen thing, I probably would have yeah. died because of the recess. Of blood. Last, yeah. yeah, you do yeah, resuscitation yeah. and then from there, once they stabilise you, then you can yeah. go wherever else you get in the hospital, but you just yeah. go there. Yeah, left, right and centre, there are people dying, like all kinds of accidents, yeah. some people stabbings, yeah. some people, like, I don't know, but that's just, I'll be real, yeah, that was an eye open. like, getting shot was an eye opener, seeing other people <laughs> die, like, I'm seeing mm. people in body bags getting taken out, getting yeah, taken out, yeah, going to wherever up. they have to go. Yeah. That gave me made mad PTSD. I'm scared to go to hospitals now. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you know that I work in the hospital, so. Yeah. And I've seen some of that stuff, but I never saw none of that stuff until I started working there. Mm. But then when you, I never saw none of that stuff until I started working there. And I had to come acclimatise to it. Something you can't become acclimatised to, but you, we all have to know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, on a daily yeah, basis. yeah. When, they, when you see a, a broken glass on the ground, there's a car yeah, accident, there's yeah. someone's mother, brother, sister, I mean, they're, in, they're in intensive care. When you see some other things happen, you see red ribbon tied to post, people will be shot, stabbed, whatever. It's, it's a lot, man. It's a lot, man. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. And then I can just remember, like, well, surgery. So I remember, yeah, I've got it. I can just remember they're giving me some next, is it anesthetics or something like that? I can't remember. Anesthetic? Yeah, anesthetic, yeah. yeah. Knocks me out for like fourteen out. Like I'm, I don't even know what day. Like, what the time I wake up, I don't even know what day it is. Yeah. But I just know I have a metal frame in my hand. Yeah, yeah. But at least you're still here, man. Still here. Yeah. And I just start thanking God, and then, boom. Then yes, I was in hospital for a good month. Like. So what? What was um? So, God bless the NHS, by the way. God bless the, God God bless the NHS. Shout out the NHS, man. That, Serious. That, that, but Friday, so, see what it is as well. With all like there's COVID patient like. 
everything going on. Mm. You see, it was overloaded. You see, NHS, yeah. I thought, look, media making up shit, yeah. I told her for myself, yeah. NHS, I can't even talk bad in them. I can't, like, they're, they're doing, they're doing, like, I don't know, God knows what's going through their minds when they're doing certain things. But, but I, I don't know how, I don't know how it doesn't affect them. Do you know what honestly. it is? For, like, for me, like, because of this pandemic thing, we don't want to, I don't want to get away from what we're talking about, but yeah. the pandemic thing, and me working in the hospital, seeing what they go through, see what they do, no one can ever fathom it until they go yeah, into yeah. it. Yeah. If you never went, if you never had that problem, you wouldn't know what's going on behind yeah. the scenes. Yeah. And it's their everyday life. Like, I didn't even believe, I'll be real, I didn't problem. believe, yeah, COVID, the the country, yeah, man. I didn't believe COVID existed, yeah. I know there's conspiracy theorists, but let's be real, yeah. Going into the hospital, COVID is not a joke. It's a disease. It just it's affects disease, different people in different yeah. ways. It is a disease. It's it's a just disease. affects different like, people in different ways. I was getting that like, in a week. I'll get like four COVID tests. Mm. That's how serious it was. And you're obviously looking at that. Like, even the doctors, the doctors are putting themselves. Like, they can get anything, any type of infection. The doctors can get that. Like, I didn't even know. I didn't even know if I was infecting myself because the wound was, the open. was wide open. Yeah, it was wide open. Wow. That's when I now put muscle from my leg. Mm. Put it on my arm. So wait, wait, so okay, so you got you know like you got shot, yeah. You got you went to the you collapsed the first time, collapsed the second time, yeah, rolled over, you said you put yourself in a position, police, there, 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 ambulance, in the thing, got the gas, operation, wake up with the pins in your arm. Was the muscle already taken out your leg and put in your arm by that point? Or was that operation no, done no, afterwards? No, I was done afterwards, so obviously like obviously before that happened, obviously Trident come now. <laughs> Fucking Trident. And gang unit. It's of not, course, it's of course. Gang unit. Of course. Now, that's in their sense, gang, I'm, not, I'm not a gang member and I don't wanna, I'm not interested in any conversation with you at the moment. Yeah. Like, they're like, they're telling me about compensation and all that, but they're telling me that the only way I can get compensation if I can identify who done it. Mm. I'm like, look, I can write a statement and say I got shot, but I fucking know who done it. I don't know who done it. Like, hmm. I don't know. Like if I'm ever if if I'm gonna get if I'm the only and you see what's so mad even if for compensation or whatever yeah like I spoke to my solicitor that helped me bust my case mm. with the cases I had she said ah oh, they don't need to identify who done it how dare they that I turns me they yeah. manipulate you with that yeah because once you've been through a traumatic thing you've been through a traumatic thing that's it's the reason for compensation she was so mad sorry to add this I need to add no, this don't sorry. He said this as well, yeah. Okay. See, when I was getting rushed into the um, urgent care centre, yeah, they asked me who done it. Of course. They asked me how did it happen? Is it gang related? I look. Why are you disorientated? You know what I said? I was like, what? I'm, I'm hurt. I'm dying. I'm in so much pain, and you ask me these questions. I'm not a gang member for one. Don't put like. Don't put me, don't put me, that's, that's, that, that's mm. demoralising. Don't put me with your yeah. 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 That's taking liberties. It is. Taking advantage of a situation. Yeah, that, and I said, is it because I'm black you're asking me these questions? If someone, if it was a different colour now, you'd be probably giving them VIP treatment right now. You're, you're telling me, and then they're like, oh, so you want to bring race into it now? Well, the reality is, you're already bringing race into it by obviously mm. asking me questions that are going to be used against me. Mm. It's never going to be used to help me or protect me gonna be used against me. I'm not stupid. I know mm. how the system works. So, 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 so you're laying on the bed after the fact. Now, this is when you're woken up. This is when I woke up. Do they tell you about the muscle they're taking out your leg, or how's yeah, it going? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so obviously, when you, before you have operation, yeah, like obviously, I'm gonna say it like this here. They're gonna they're gonna get consent from you. The reason why they're gonna get consent from you is to cover their back. So if anything goes wrong, you can't sue them. Remember, you're mm -hmm. telling them to basically. You're giving them the green light to do whatever to, to do whatever they have to do. Mm -hmm. So I knew like that they're, they're like, yeah, you gotta take muscle from your leg because you got your legs are kinda bigger. So it should like yeah, the risk is like it might not sit well, it might not like like even after that like, every day they had to be checking on my like they call that flap. That's what I don't know why there's all these doctor all these names that they have. Like, had, like they had to basically when they put the muscle in there, they had to make sure it was like, not alive, but like they had to make sure it was like it was still living. Like, I don't even living. Like, yeah, like, like it would just go in there and still keep going rather than being yeah. dead tissue inside yeah, there. Tissue, basically. Yeah, but even dead tissue inside there. It would mix in with whatever was in your arm, veins and all that, live and grow like normally. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, and then obviously I saw the pic. Obviously the surgeon came in, so show me the pictures, show me obviously my, they show me my arm open. It was mad. I would be real. It was mad. Mm. Like that. I kind of reason life. Then I was like, bro. Like, 
I don't wish this on no one. No, my mm. worst enemy. I don't. Mm. Know. Like, that's a mad thing. So was you? So was you? Was you? At any point, was you angry? Was you? This thing's gone funny. Was you? Angry, it's yeah. me, made it go funny. <laughs> was you angry? Was you upset? Did you want retribution? I mean, when you were on the bed, apart from the, the, just what you're talking about, looking at it, what other feelings was going through your mind? What were you thinking? Was you worried about your mum's feelings? Was you worried about your brother? Did you want revenge? Was I'll, you be, to, you know? I'll be honest, yeah, I was grateful. In it. Like, I, was, I feel I was just like that was just, just the gratefulness, like the gratitude. Like, I thought you were still alive, like, I'm still to alive. alive. Like, if I didn't put my arm in front of my chest, that could have been a different story, kind of. I was grateful, like. I didn't have anger at that moment. Like, I couldn't, like, because I know the anger would just make me, I mean, like, I didn't even cry for the whole thing. I didn't even cry. I mm. told my mum, be strong. Like, it's all right, like, I'm good. So you was having conversations with your mum to let be strong? Yeah, tell her to be strong. And, oh, like, man. and then, like, yeah, I didn't cry for the whole thing. I didn't even thought, look, everyone's a human being. I don't want someone to go through the experience. If you cry, I understand, innit? Like, that thing is not a nice experience. Mm. Everyone's human at the end of the day. Like, mm. humans mm. cry, man. Like, don't be, don't be hard. It's not, it's not that I was hard, like, I was trying to harden up. Mm. I just couldn't cry. I just don't know where. But the pain, I was, I was, I was screaming. Like, that pain mm. is not, mm. like, it's a trauma. Like, even up till now, I'm still, it's, it's I'm still hurts, recovering. Man. It's not even, yeah, I would say it still hurts. My hands are gone stiff and that. Mm. Like, Obviously, it's life-changing injuries as well. Yeah, of course, of course. You're going to be living like with that for the rest of your life. Yeah, like the bullets are, are still in my hand up and they said potentially you have to live with it because mm. it's too dangerous to take out because it will mess up my nerves. Wow. I'm just like, like, I'm just, gra- I'm just grateful. And my mind, these times, like after, because obviously, uh, previously, I, talk, like, I mentioned about getting bugged and that was a kind of an eye-opener. I was like, you know what, like, all of this is an eye opener. Like, I need to know pattern up. I need to know like my mindset started changing. I started like I think you know what? Like, I need to achieve more. Like I need to go back to music. Like obviously previously I've released tunes on music. So when did you start doing music? When when did I start? Like I started like time ago, but I didn't. You know the ones there. You just don't take it serious. Yeah, You're yeah, just yeah, playing definitely. with it. Definitely. I started taking it seriously like 2019. Wicked. Released two tunes. But then, obviously, like, like I just it wasn't consistent. Yeah. And partly because maybe, like, financial issues. And I'll be real, like, see what it is, yeah? Like, I'm going to be true to myself, innit? Yeah, but I'll see financial struggles kind of put a halt to my music. I'm not, yeah. I'm not this type of guy, yeah, that I'll be, like, fake it till you make it kind of thing. I'm not going to be like, oh, like... Let me borrow this, borrow that, borrow this, borrow that. No. I if I can't do it now, then... It's you know, because of how you lived. Yeah, it's how I lived, yeah. It's because kind of, of the kind of money you've been, you was around. So you feel like, you know, like, where other people would even see that kind of money. Yeah. They, they, they don't mind dealing with maybe the bootlegs and this and that. Because yeah. Because you was in and out of Harrods, going to Dubai. Yeah. And things like, like, for you to, to now kind of feel like you're imitating the life that you've lived, I feel like it's, it's, it's harder for you. Yeah. Than the person that did Yeah, that. like now it's humbled me. Like now, like before, I was like nine to five, I can never do that. I'll be real, yeah. I won't say like I probably still won't do it, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> my man. <laughs> like obviously I will, obviously I work legit I work for myself, innit? Yeah. Like, I'll be my own boss. But uh. like I won't knock down a hustle. Cause at the end of the day, yeah, like I wanna put this out there as well, like all these youths like See this OT thing? It's long, innit? OT, the out of time thing is OT time, thing. the countryside thing, it's long. It's not worth it. There's no such thing as fast money, is not it's good money. Fast no matter money, how you get it. How you get it, how fast it comes, it's how fast it goes. Again, it's the frequency, innit? It's the frequency. Yeah. Like that frequency. Like, when you're especially, people. yeah, especially if you know what, what's right from wrong. I made that mistake. I knew I knew about it. Like everyone knows what's right from wrong, but some people just yeah. don't. I believe some people just choose to disregard it. I choose to disregard it and like... That's what I said. Like from then, like the aftermath, I was he- like, you see what it is. It was more positive than negative. Don't get twisted. My PTSD is a mad thing. You're sorry. Your PTSD. PTSD. Yes. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Mad so let's say night time, like ten o'clock. I probably won't even be. I'll be out, but probably in a safe location. Yeah. I won't be on the streets. No estates. You won't see me there. Not because I'm shook. But you like, you my trauma, like, I, I might bug out on someone that I don't even need to bug out on. You're human. I mean, yeah. But you see what it is now? This is, it's, it's just a testimony to his intelligence and his, his fortitude. Yeah. The fact that you've had to do a boarding school, all your experience up until this point, 
and made you the man you are. 100%. The fact your dad wasn't around, you've had to help your mum and fight for your mum. The, the fact that you, you were more concerned about how your mum felt in certain parameters, you have to understand how powerful and how strong you are. No, 100%. The fact you're sitting here in front of me and you're willing to tell your story. 100% because I it's feel... It's hard, it's not an easy yeah, thing. Yeah, it's not easy because I feel... I'm not going to be the only one. I probably haven't been the only one go, that gone through it. And I'm not going to be the only one that's going to go through it. It's yeah, going to be many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be many. But just the thing is now, just for the, anyone who does go through it or who, who's been through it, to understand that it isn't, it doesn't define you. It doesn't. It's not the end of yeah, you. Yeah, you know, yeah. It doesn't. Doesn't mean you have to stop where you're at. Yeah, you yeah. can still work through that and get you to still, another yeah, place. Yeah, you still work through that. You're like, only 23 as well. Only 23. Right? Yeah. Like you've lived the lifetime already. You know. What yeah, I mean? like yeah. people. There's people that are even older than me that haven't lived what I lived. Like, I mean, the enjoyment or whatever aspect. Whatever aspect, just full of fun. Mm. Like so. I got old. Like, no, I won't say older, but I got people that are older than me that they're still that. that I won't even say basic, but. It's, like I haven't yeah, no, in my frequency of how I live life, yeah. not many people have at yeah. that young age. Yeah. Maybe older. Some people have, but no, for but me, mine's just very unique. Like it's now advantages, yeah. isn't it? It now comes to be in your advantages. You know, like yeah. before, it, everything seemed like a disadvantage, isn't it? No, hundred. Yeah. But now, like everything put, has put you in, in, forward in the head of a lot of people your age group and a bit older than you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's now. What you decide to do with that intelligence? No, it's not cool. And I want that. I got a lot of things planned. Like music, take it, take yeah, it so seriously. Tell us more about your music as well, man. You like, see what music? Kind of music do you do? I just do that. Like, I'm very versatile. I can do Afro. Yeah. Like, I got two tunes. More like one is a street tune. That's more of like streetish kind of thing. It's still rap, not yeah. drill. Yeah, yeah. I don't really like. I'll be honest. It's yeah. not what drill. Like, drill, drill music. Like you know drill. this dr- drill. 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 It's a it's a it's a genre of the of hip hop now. Yeah, I just act like you People know. educate me, yeah? I need like, to be educated. Just act yeah. like you know, man. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, no, of course I know what drill is. Come on, drill. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, you don't yeah, do that, right? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, do that. All right, all right, all right. Like, don't, like, I probably, not, like, you see what it is, yeah? I'm going to tell you, like, I don't care who this, it's not, I'm not drawing out no one, but I'm just going to, like, I'm going to say how it is, yeah? Most of these drill rappers, yeah, like, let's be honest, they're not living the life they're living. If they are, they're self snitching. Yeah. They're so what? They're self what? They're self snitching. Yeah. What I mean by they're that? Self-sti- they're self snitching. They're self snitching themselves. Yeah. Snitching on themselves like they're talking about what they do. Yeah, but you know, like it's for whatever I come but from. But it's entity. Some some of them like I remember I was watching something to do with Lowski. Yeah, Lowski was saying something about he does well, what he's rapping about. It's character. His character. It's like it's a facade, basically. Like it's not. It's not actually what he's doing. It's just for entertainment purposes. And you see what it is now. Like especially my generation, everyone's so hungry for money, and now it's so they're so hungry that now basically controversy, bad publicity, clout, it mm-hmm. pays. Mm-hmm. They don't care. Look, I can I can go to the I can go to the chicken and chip shop, do a mad thing, and then maybe I'll get clout off of it. I can get paid for. I can become famous just from that. That's how social media is nowadays. If you was like, highlighting that you got shot, you yeah. can't famous just on that. Like, you know, like, people, That's what I'm saying, but me, like, I don't really... Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Two bucks in them. Like, like, for me... No, like, he said he got shot and then he, saw rap, he was a good rapper, I think he's all right. Yeah. You know what I mean? 50 Cent. No, he is, but he, the, the story of him getting shot was yeah. good marketing. Yeah, it's good marketing. Yeah, it's good marketing. It's part of his marketing. Yeah, of course. They didn't, they didn't yeah. leave it out. But I mean, I, I mean, I appreciate it, and you're totally right, but then... Um, what's the name? Car crash. Kanye's car crash. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it, it's yeah, the so same. Yeah, same know, thing. Most near death experiences. People use them as marketing strategies. Yeah, it is. But then, but then also, near death experiences. Unless you have one, you can't comprehend the impact it has on the individual. No, no. one's there. Well, like, like just as people, as, uh, I think like as people that haven't been through it, it becomes like something that they're interested in. Yeah. Like, you see, like the same way that people are not from the hood watch the hood. Yeah, 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 so yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah, watch yeah, the yeah, Discovery yeah, Channel yeah. and watch the animals in the jungle because mm. people will look like to watch things that they ain't been through. They like to hear stories of things that they are scared yeah. of going through. They like to hear mm. things like again, even which they, like, they, like, they like to have a buffer between them and whatever's going on. Yeah, yeah, of course. Even us, you know, like yeah. well, like I said to you, we might watch the Discovery Channel and watch the animals, but do we want to go there? Like, it's like me, yeah. Uh, it's like me, uh, like me, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I was doing my feet, like I was doing whatever I was doing to make money. Yeah. But I'm the type of guy that will get the Financial Times and read it A to Z. Yeah, I'm right. studying the Financial Times. You right. think me, someone like me, and that's where I get yeah. my like my intelligence is broad. Like I will, I'm up to date with anything, politics, anything. I can sit yeah. down, not even just about what I went through. I can sit down about anything. Yeah. I'm, I'm updated about that. That's the, I think that's just something about me, isn't it? 
That's why you'll be able what, to make what, money at anything. What, That's what, what I'm saying. What advice would you give to someone who is out there now? Someone who's young, maybe the, the 15 year old you, or the 10 year old you, or the 16 year old you, not the 19, even a even 19 year old you. What advice would you give to them? Because it's all prior to this stuff that's happened. This My advice here yeah, would be like, Watch your friends, isn't it? Like, I don't even say that, like, my friends are good. My friends, they know who they are and they know, like, how I move. They know that... Choose your friends wisely. Yeah, choose your friends wisely. Like, I've got good friends. Like, that's... It's a thing where know who your friends are and, like... Like, what's what's that word? Like... Keep your friends close. Keep keep your friends close. Keep your friends close. Enemies closer. And also, like... Don't fit in. Don't don't force the don't force the thing. Mm. Don't be yourself. Like what no, I've learned. No, yeah. No. Sorry, let me let you talk though. What, what what I meant by that? Like just be yourself. Like don't fool. Yeah. Let me smoke weed because I'm cool. Let me tell you something. Weed. Yeah. For me, it's it's like because it's good for me doesn't mean it's good for someone else. Mm. Mm. Like we like I've known many people that have lost the plot and I'm not judging, mm. but they've lost the plot in the sense where they're not themselves no more. Like they've gone. Like. Mm. Mm. They're basically, me they're mentally dead, if yeah, I can put it in a, in, a, yeah, yeah. in a very respectful way. And it's they're self-inflicted. It's self-inflicted. Like, no one, no one's like, yeah, yo, smoke this or I'm going to beat you up. Nah, <laughs> nah, this, pay, uh, you see what it's the peer pressure thing? Yeah. See the peer pressure thing? It's actually subconscious. It's not even, it's very subconscious. It's not. It's yourself. It's yourself. You put that pressure on yourself. People can't pressure you, like, it's, that's, that's kind of, mass. That's, you can't, it's mad, like, as much as people say that like, they've been pressured to smoke, it's not pressured. Like I understand, it's peer pressure in the sense you see other people doing it. In your mind, you think it's cool. I want to do it. See, That's peer pressure. See what? Yeah, what you're saying is this is another another illumination of your intelligence because you, you understand that people can't pressure you. Now other people don't understand that concept, so then they're pressured by people because they don't understand that. You see what it is? Do is even their own right. You see what it is? I'll be real. I'm gonna up like, and I thought it should be discussed more, especially for young people, even in schools. Emotional intelligence. You see, mm. in the streets, <laughs> not even in the streets, my man, my man, my man. but in an environment. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nah, I'm telling you, nah, for real though. Emotional real. intelligence, yeah. What people don't understand, people, every single day, so, whether you know it or not, people are playing with your emotional intelligence. Mm. They're playing with it. And some of these youths, they don't even know the definition of that. And, they get like, like, I'll be honest here, yeah, I'm not against... The, oh, the 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 gay all that gay things I'm not against it yeah obviously that's hot, like I, I'm not get that no be you whatever you're gonna do whatever like, keep that away from, I'll just be real that's not how I was raised it? that's not my type of thing no way but why are you bringing up in the school at a young age why can't you bring up an emotional intelligence because some of these kids when they go out of school I'm not judging their surroundings I'm not even judging the people that are around here but every single day people are testing their emotional intelligence and if they are weak, if they're weak, they know what they know what they're doing. They're going to get sucked in so easily. If they're weak or they haven't got no one who's taught them, no one to talk to. They're not aware of certain things. Yeah, so and it, it mostly happens with young guys. And you see what it is? It's sad, yeah, because how people will be like, yeah, guys has to man up. You see what it is? What you want a guy to man up to the point where he's a laughing Joe or he's dead or like he he can't live his dreams no more. Like what? Is it, what, what? What does it mean to man up? Like, well, again, what does it mean to man up? It's, it's what we give glorification yeah. and credit to. Yeah. We give too much. Like our music gives too much credit to badness. Like the the lifestyles that we 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 live, we give too much credit towards bullshit. Yeah. You know, like with other cultures, they might be on their badness, and when they get to a certain age, they flip up, get go work in a That's it. business, and do this. But yeah. They, it's so it's so heavy in our culture with our like it, the influence of yeah, you're only this if you're this. So if, unless you're a tough guy or you're rich. Like they, they, no one's gonna really have no ratings for you. Yeah. Where, where but from. then, but then, then I, you, this, what he says is quite right. What he says yeah. quite right. But if you've got your intention, what does he say a minute ago? Emotional, emotional intelligence. You don't care about people's fucking ratings. But you no, know, like, you like understand. That's like me. You see what it is? That's like me. Yeah. Someone can say I'm, a, I'm, I'm like I'm done out or whatever. They can say call me many names. I'll be like, you know what? I don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, when I do my thing, you're gonna be asked, you're gonna be asking me how you know me. You're gonna ask me how how you come across me. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna ask me. You're gonna ask me how I even done it. How did I make it? Yes. That's like me. I don't give a fuck what people. But that's why. That's why you say. Oh. You see, like when you said emotional intelligence. Just even when you said the word emotional intelligence, how many people even say that? 
That's what I'm saying. People are not aware. Thank you. People are not aware. Let alone like bring it down. Yeah. When have they even heard something like that? So when you sometimes you even need to hear someone say things like that. When you hear emotional, even though us people like us will might. Um, yeah, but it's not even with, amongst us. It's not. I be, yeah, I'll be real. Many people my age probably don't even know what that means. Do you understand? They probably don't even know the even word even age, exists. Bro, even my age, you know what I mean? Because it's like the, the, you, the maturity that you have through the things that you've been through mm. it exceeds your age. Yeah, that's how that. Yeah, hundred percent. And you see what it is like. I have friends yeah, that um like that like minded. Yeah. Like yeah, we all came, don't get twisted. We all come from a. Like you could say the struggle. Yes. You could say we didn't have everything at the best. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. it wasn't the worst, but it wasn't the best. Yeah. But we still there's so much different characters. Still, it's different characters. And that's what I've also learned is like me, like you gotta articulate yourself very well when that's you're right. in the outside world. So right. when I got like obviously when I'm in a hospital now, like yeah, I'll still scream for the police, yeah. But don't be all aggro to the police. No. You see, with that long term, yeah. Yeah. You're gonna be a target for the. You see, 100%. the worst part. And it's stupid. Don't be a don't be a victim to the system of yeah. the of, of, um, of the police. Yeah. Don't be a victim. Don't and the only way you be a victim is yourself. If you like articulate yourself very well, like as one time I got bagged here. Yeah, the way I spoke in the interview, I said no comment, no comment, no comment. Yeah. It's not it work against you these days. Like. It doesn't really work against you. Yeah. Obviously, me, I'll cut my tongue before. You know what? Cut my ears. Cut my. See you. Know, see what it is. Cut. Take the skin off my face before I even snitch here. Yeah. I'd rather die than Can't snitch. I'll be honest. Yeah. Face. Yeah. <laughs> but you gotta articulate yourself when you're speaking to certain people, okay. and it's because nowadays my mindset is now it's not about what you have. It's about who you know. If yeah. you're trying to get certain places, boy, it's about who you know. You gotta orchestrate. You gotta stack. As I say, you got to play the part. Like, you got to play the part. Yeah. 100%. You got to play the part. Your like, mum. Yeah. Your mum. Yeah. Yeah. After you coming home from being from this incident. Yeah. How did that, how do you feel it impacted your mum when you was released and come home and everything? How did you see, did she change your mum, the way your mum dealt with you, the way she spoke yeah, to you? Like, it's one of those ones where surely not, like, my mum knows, yeah, she knows what I'm on. Like, she, like mindset, where, like, how I carry myself, she already knows. So she just like the only thing she was saying, she still says it up to this day, like, you should have went outside. That's the only thing she will say about the whole situation. But other than that, she's like Oh, so she will still maintain what she said to you that night, like you shouldn't yeah, go outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She'll that. still say it to me. But I'm, I'm glad you're here. Yeah, you yeah. Go outside. Yeah, but she knows what I'm on. She knows that I don't like I don't have many friends. Like people say make as many friends as possible. I'm against that because you don't know who's evil eye and you I don't you see me, my, I see energy itself. I don't play with it at all. Mm. So if the, like, the energy around here is so 100, yeah, I, I can let it flow without even blinking an eye. But it's like, we were friends, yeah, like, especially where I'm from, yeah, like, it's just weird. The energy, it's just something about barking and dagging them, it's just weird. So, like, the energy is just weird. You're, 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 now, when I met you and I spoke to you about this, yeah, um, we arranged for you to come down for us to do yeah. what we're doing right now. Like, during that process at that time, I was liaising with you, talking to you on and off. Yeah, yeah. And then something else happened. Yeah, like... Can you explain to me about that? Basically, like... like crazy shit, man. Can't go into too much detail, because obviously it's still ongoing, like, investigations and all that still, yeah. like, all that bullshit. Mm-hmm. But brother got shot. Your brother got shot? Brother got shot, yeah. Okay, got shot you can't like, go into too much details and that, yeah. but it's so okay? It's still fresh, yeah, it's okay, yeah, it's actually it's good. So, so at the beginning, what what, what was, he, was he okay from the beginning? What what happened initially? Like just like, without too much deal, just just what happened to him? I mean, you got shot in your in your arm. Um, he got he got shot in his. Pardon me, you've lost like, some of the muscle in your leg. Yeah, he got you've gone through surgery. Yeah, he got shot in the same area. Yeah, pretty much. So since it's all been going, are you still live in the same area? No, no, no. Me, oh, live. No, no. Look, I, I I got moved. Then I? I got moved yeah. to a different. But location. he was staying where you, where you got shot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and where did he get shot? You got shot like outside the doorstep. Outside your actual mum's house. Fucking hell. And like, then again, fuck knows who done it. No, but come on. I mean, I mean, I mean, is there not? Is it not a connection? I'm not trying to join the dots or nothing. I'm not trying to cause anything else from it. But That's what I'm questioning. There must be some something to do with it. Like, if your two brothers. Does your area yeah. have beef as well? Of their own. The politics are there, yeah, but then again, own, like. yeah, yeah. But I'm not involved. Like, I'll be real. No, yeah. Nothing to do with you. I'm I, 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 yeah. The area, yeah, the, I'll, I'll, I'll say so, innit? Like, yeah. I'll probably say, like, yeah, there's things like, like, yeah, let me just put it out there, yeah, yeah. because 
the end of the day, uh, to me, I just think it's stupid. I, I, I don't care. Like, I don't care if gang members hear this. It's stupid. It is. It's stupid. Like I can't be twenty something and like just yeah. talking yeah. bullshit. Like. Not even bullshit, but just talking nonsense. Like, I'm a big man. Like, mm. I want to have family. I want to have kids. I want to, like, you know, see more to life. Why am I going to be, like, 23 years of age and be a gang member? And what actually pissed me off in hospital, everyone thought I was a gang member. Gang related, gang related. Mm. People telling me, leave the hood. I already, like, my mind has left the hood. My body, obviously, my presence hasn't. <laughs> But my <laughs> mindset has already left the hood. Yeah. My man. Yeah. My mindset has already left the hood. But my man, my mind has left the hood. Yeah, I like that. Like, if people, like, you see what it is, I rate someone that can leave, the, that can save their chest. I don't want this no more. Yeah. Then someone, you see what it is, I'll just look at you, I don't judge in it, but I'll look at you, like, it'll be weak as a person to say you can't leave that type of lifestyle knowing that Two, there's two ways jail or you're dying yeah. you live and die by it that's just common it's, just, it's common law what, what people are call, call, calling um, this for for of face suffering like what they don't understand that like, they can't leave the hood they can't leave let's just say drug money or fast money or whatever money to go and do a 9 to 5 and work for someone and so on and so forth the benefits from doing that as well they don't seem a lot of people don't actually know because they haven't gone there and tried it you see what it the is younger, they've only tasted that fast you money you see what it is you see what that comes down to and I'll be honest yeah like, even if you're doing your thing, and then long term, you're going to want to go legit. Mm-hmm. And it all starts from, I'll say, I'll say it like this, yeah. The only way you can fuck up here yeah, is if, like, nobody plans to fail. It's if you fail to plan. Mm-hmm. If you fail to plan, you're planning yourself to fail. It's mm-hmm. as simple as that. Yeah. So, and that goes to, that's in any yeah, aspect. Yeah. So, let's say, for example, I'm planning to open a studio. Like, if I don't put that plan into practice and work on it, I'm going to be like, oh, where's money coming in? I'm going to now look for ways to go and get quick money. So you got to have a plan. Even if you're, I'm not condoling the thing, but some people, you, as much as you told them, you can't save them, innit? Mm-hmm. I was going to say it like this. Just have a long-term goal that that's going to benefit you and it's not going to implicate you. Mm-hmm. I was, I was going to say it like that, innit? Because some people... There's really some people out here you can't actually save, you know. Like even the younger stuff, yeah. you're like you're washed up if you're there for too long. Yeah, like you can't you see No, it. but the same people but my thing is that's fair enough. And it's okay for them to look at you like you're washed up. Because they haven't got any comprehension of what life's no, about I'm to saying, a certain like, point. If you're, no, that's only when you're in the streets. The youngest when you're doing something positive, yeah, I've had like good conversation with younger people, like and they're very mature and clearly like yourself. And yeah. They respect people that do other things. Yeah, like, even if there's one guy in the hood that does something else and he's like, Don't think that they come and let you know, like I respect you more than we respect this and this and this one. I was right. Yeah. 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 I remember one time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like they do respect when people are doing better, but there's, there's certain olders that haven't got past that ment- mentally. That, mm. in that stage mm. and then they were oh, what you man and what you man someone said to me today is like people who go to jail like when they're 19 when they come up when they're 30 they're still fucking 19 there you go yeah, yeah, they're yeah, still yeah, stuck yeah. in that mentality they're still 19 yeah, 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 that's yeah, what happens yeah, 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 those yeah. are the ones who can't make so god bless yeah, them but they can't make that transition jail's not only a location it's a mentality as well it's hmm? not, jail's not only a location it's a mentality as well yeah yeah so yeah of course I know a bag of people like for example like Rimsy for example yeah like who? Rimsy rapper like I like I listen to listen to him from that like, from his keep stacking days from his yeah, yeah. back in the days. Like many people my age probably don't know who Rimsy is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> only the real no, only yeah, don't yeah, know. Yeah, 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 only the real know. They probably know this time round because they're still getting quite good. Yeah, emotions. it's good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's good. good. And what he's doing, like he, he went Joe, he came out, he went Joe for a yeah. He went, he went, I think a gun charge or something like that. Shooting at police. Yeah, yeah. shooting at police. He came out, he came out, and he's yeah. doing. Big, big things. Yeah. Big things. And he, he came out of Joe. So I agree when Joe's a mentality. Joe can make yeah. Joe can make or break you. There's mm. people that come out of jail and they're so much further than people that's been on road. Yeah. So 100%. Yeah. So there's like... You got, they got that... Ross Clark. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they got tons of focus. They got, it's, just like, it's just in the character of the person. There's some people that go to jail and don't do nothing either. There's some people that are on road and they're not doing nothing either. Yeah, yeah. But my whole thing is that what, who you are as an individual, where you are standing physically doesn't determine where you can get to in life yeah 100% you know what I mean but it's like people try to throw those things on you to make you feel like you've got that barrier mm. you know what I'm saying but it's like where you are where you are mentally is where, where what takes flight in life 
and not allowing people to emotionally twang you yeah. and not allowing people to draw you out as well. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And then you can it's, actually analyse... You see, what, see this, this is why I say I'm not part of this generation, yeah. You see this drawing out thing, yeah. You must be bored and jobless to be having a time and day to be doing it. Mm. Me, like... I recommend you see me. I read, I'm, I always been. I love reading books, and I would recommend this to young youths here. Mm-hmm. Download this app called Headway and start reading books. Like I'm telling you, like I won't say some people education is not for them, innit? Like university, but doesn't mean you can't become a businessman. Doesn't so, mean so, like, you study, can't be. Yeah, still study. Yeah, it's still good. Yeah, Even study. If you don't want to go to school. You're invest. Yeah, invest, educating yourself yes. with the real world yeah. can take you far. Exactly. That's what people don't know. My mum, obviously, you know how it goes in African background. You must be a lawyer. You must yeah, be a doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You must be a this that this that. Mm. I'll be honest. Like I, I do. I and mean, the thing is, I do have intentions of going back to uni as well. Like, I feel like I missed like. No, I, I just I can't you're, say you're missed out. I can't say missed out. To do it though. Yeah, hundred percent. You haven't gone past that. It's that. something I've I've been considering. It's something I've been looking into. Been looking at what courses I can study. Yeah. I just been broadening my mind. Like thinking, look, what can I do now? What can I turn my life around and do? I think because that's, that's a good step. Because I'll be honest, yeah, and like I'm still on two cases. <laughs> like bearing in yeah. mind, I'm still. I'm You're still, still what? I'm I'm on two cases. You still got two cases. Yeah, that P-Wits. But that's still them, pending investigation. Yeah, but, 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 but them cases, they don't define you. Like, like, but like yeah, my yeah, friend was just saying, yeah, it's it not, define me, no yeah. matter what happens, yeah. if you go behind the door, you stay this side of the door. It's about you. you it's about you. Yeah, yeah. Exactly what you just I said. I already right? know. I already, I'm, over, I'm praying that I'm praying I bust it, but I already expecting the worst already. So No, but for me, it's like, I've got, I had a few things like, I wanted to ask you if I had to ask you if you didn't know and then one of them is like what's your dreams and what are your aspirations dream, if you have dreams and aspirations no matter what happens you can still aspire to them and you can still have them dreams no matter where you are yeah. what you're doing do you know what I mean so yeah. what are they like my dreams yeah, like one of them obviously is to like own like how could, what do you call these type of people a business tycoon what I mean by that it's on several businesses like a multitude of different multitude, things multitude like yeah. rock you see Jay Z you see you see Jay Z um, Master P all them people there you see I love them like you see especially Master P Master yeah. P I would have said Master P over Jay Master P I would say Dame Dash yeah but yeah definitely, definitely Dame Dash you gotta throw him in he's yeah. a pro yeah I gotta throw him in yeah but I, I, I like so, like Rimsy said it best yeah Dame Dash, but with a Jay Z attitude to it. Yeah. Yeah, but you got to remember, like, and I, I don't know as much as I know. Yeah. But the two of them made Rockefeller what they made Rockefeller. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Dame yeah. Dash is tenacious. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who's the other one? Bigs. Bigs, yeah, I think yeah, you know Bigs. I'm saying. And Bigs was a big part of it. It's just more. And it's like quiet. Yeah. And, but see, Dame Dash, the hype man. Jay Z, the front man. Bigs, yeah. The behind the man, man. The money man. The money man. But without, the, without that cocktail, it wouldn't have been what it would have been. Because certain times, yeah. Dame Dash will come and say, what, what the fuck? What the fuck? What? Yeah, that's what, what's the name certain man wouldn't say that, you that yeah, that's why I don't play with networking it's a, as well it's, it's yeah. a mixture I don't, that's why me my network I'm trying to grow and then if people are trying to grow we can grow together like frequency like, you always, yeah. always meet the people that are trying to do what you're trying to yeah, do yeah it's true 100% your brother what's going on with your brother now he's recovering he's walking and talking like, he's good it's so positive. initially yeah. he got shot and then he was what you told me he was in a coma right yeah he, a, he woke up that like, day after <sighs> Yeah. What was your mum going through? Yeah, are you going to move mumsy as well? They're going to move eventually, yeah. But I don't know where at the moment, but yeah, they should get moved. Because that's a lot, man. Yeah, yeah. from that, she should be, they should be out of there and they should, should be temporary be, house yeah, already, yeah, but yeah, two yeah. of them getting from shot the time, in the same area. You see what it is? Come on, yeah, come on. From the time when the police said there's two black boys, it's, it's already written, like, they knew what they would, like, from the, when, the, when the police said to my mum, you've got two big boys that can deal with them, the police like, already failed. Even already that, failed. even that though, yeah. I don't even want their help. Like, as it, no, but no, but what's yeah. right is right. Yeah. Yeah. We're living in England. We're living in a certain society. You've called them out. They've come out. They, we're taxpayers. No matter what, we're taxpayers. You know what I'm saying? This is the thing. Like just, me, I wouldn't call the police. Yeah, and I would have. Because for the way I was brought up, but that's wrong. That's a wrong mentality. They're there for us. Yes. If we're in trouble, we're supposed to call them the same way they're there for the next person and the next yeah. person. You see what it is? I'll be honest. And that's that. Sorry, you just, what, sorry yeah. one second. That's not yeah, that emotional. Not that. Um, what, do you, what do you call it for? Emotional intelligence. Not emotional intelligence. Oh. It's just the intelligence of, of not letting the slave mentality, the this mentality, the slave mentality stop yeah, you yeah, 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 from yeah. facilitating or using the things that are at your disposal. When you've yeah. got stuff, you will call police. 
Oh, you know, like someone said to me, what happens if someone burgles your house? So if you could to call the police. If someone burgles your car, what are you going to do? you going to go and drive around and look for your car? You see what it is? You can't. I think, you see what it is, yeah. They'll find your car, innit? They've got things to find your car. You see what it is? It's one of those ones. Like, how, like... Look, like, if someone's not being involved in a, in something that can criminalise them, yeah? Yeah. Like, you can't really call them a snitch, innit? Like, let's be, let's be real, yeah? There's someone that's been straight to the book. I mean... Like they've been a law abiding citizen, yeah, a, a law abiding citizen. That's a, yeah, civilian. So that w- even majority of them will not snitch. Yeah. But I, 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 I listen, right? But I, that's not snitching. I'm disgusted. It's, it's, not, it's not snitching. I'm disgusted by that snitching, get stitchy stuff. I mean, I hear you see it. See what it is. You see what it is. It's kind of a thing, yeah. Like you see when you're doing the street shit, yeah. You kind of you got, unless you're unless you got chicken eating your brain, yeah. Like you're gonna unless you got what? Unless you have a chicken eating your brain. What I mean by the that? The chicken eating your brain. Yeah, like, if you don't know what you're doing, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, um, if you're doing street shit. <laughs> yeah, if you're doing street, you're doing street shit, you know, what you're, you know what you're signing up to. So you got to take whatever's going to come your way. My whole thing is, that's all well and good, but not everyone ro- rolls by them rules neither. Yeah, yeah, not everyone, everyone rolls. Everyone talks about it like, we're like saying that everyone's going to be. It's so, so mad. But it, it takes character yeah. to uphold them rules. You but, see, but, you see, but, but you also. What I'm so it's like, if you don't have no character. But you've got them, you've got them. You're still going to, you're fucked. You got people trying to uh, uh, apply those rules. You need good characters. People that ain't from the streets. No, I know that, but I'm saying, say for instance, people the, the people that are on the streets, yeah. Yeah. These are like let's say let's be honest, yeah. When you're when you're when you're living on that frequency, you're you're a low life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're living yeah. a low vibration. You're living a low vibrational life, innit? So you're like anything that happens around that low vibrational life, yeah. Is you're not gonna like how are you gonna be the guy that can be stand up like to, for you to be in the situation where I can go to jail, boom boom. boom and then you're gonna say you're gonna you're gonna have you're gonna be a man of honor that day. No, you're gonna do you're gonna do ten years. No, but I'm saying most people, in if, six months. What's, what's mad is that if you're a man of honor, you wouldn't have been doing the shit you was doing in the first place. <laughs> He's right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't. And so the people that you're surrounding yourself <laughs> with you yeah, is everyone that's on wrong. Everyone that's on doing bullshit. So we're all wrongans. And we're expecting us to, we're expecting we're us to be honourable. If you've not heard that, we're all, all living in all wrongers. <laughs> There's no honour amongst me. There's none. You That's true. No honour amongst me. Honour amongst me. Yeah. 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 God. <laughs> you think about people in bunches, but when you think about people as individuals, you won't care about no one. I've never been in a situation where I had to do it. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm an objective thinker. So like, I've been in the hood as well. So I'm like, I've been in seen so, so many situations where the bad, baddest boy in the end snitched. But no one can tell him he's a cheaper. Yeah. So, because cause he's a gunman. And he snitches. So it's weird. You don't know how to take it. What do you do? He's a gunman, he snitches, <laughs> no one wants to come at him. Like, he you see what's so mad? Is he, even, like, if he snitches, if you, he'll give you stitches. <laughs> he ain't giving, he ain't, he's going to snitch and give you stitches. Yeah? That's what I was trying, <laughs> so trying to say. That's what I was trying to say. I asked, I asked, to add to that as well, majority of people that do snitch are from the streets. That's what I'm saying. It has are to be. Are from the streets. Because you can't be a snitch if you're not from the streets. Yeah. Yeah. Your, back, your back has to get to the wall. You've got to be in it to know it. Well, do you know what? Uh, people should have integrity. People who do what they're doing should know what they're doing. Don't 100%. tell people too much stuff. Yeah. And at the end of the day, the, you should work for your money. That's it. I'll don't say don't also, to add to that, you. put yourself first, no matter yeah. what. Because when it gets Damn. down to this year, yeah. see when I got shot, yeah, like people were saying, I, I don't. It come to a point, I, like I had to show people I got shot, and the reason why I done that year is because look here, yeah, some people don't even want to come and talk to me no more or even see me because they feel that risk. I, I'm, if they're gonna get shot by standing next to you, yeah. Uh, sorry, if they're gonna get shot by standing next to you, yeah. That's yeah. that's that's the yeah. stupid yeah. mentality. Yeah, it's the stupid mentality. It's no, it's, 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 it's an I understand. of who they were as people yeah. beforehand. Yeah. They never showed you who they were. Yeah. Now you know who they are. Yeah, and that's like, that's all, that's woke me, that's like, that's woke me up. Like, there's people that I even didn't get along with, that, but when I got shot, after, like, when it now happened, we're cool. They're, yeah, they're yeah, closer to cool. before. Yeah, we're closer. We've yeah. burnt, we burnt our differences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We put, we'll put two and two together and think, you know what, let's yeah, move yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. So all of that there, like it's a life lesson in every aspect. Before you finish here, can we talk yeah. just a bit more about your music and what's to come? That music, like. No way you did that. <laughs> <laughs> I look straight. Look at me straight in the eyes. So. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to disguise. <laughs> 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 he took off the chair. <laughs> <laughs> he 
He probably took flight off the jet. Uh, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, let's carry you on. Edit yeah. that, yeah? Edit that, edit that. No, no, edit it, no, no, no. no. <laughs> 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 uh, it's natural anyway. I've got no emotional distress or whatever you call it. No emotional distress, but I'm very... God, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's it's sounded like emotional distress. Uh, music was... <laughs> <laughs> Music wise, um, definitely you're gonna hear from me more. Definitely, hundred percent this year. How hopefully, what's your name and what's that? Like four four or well, four four no safety, but take yeah. off the no safety part. Yeah. Don't worry. Four four no safety. This is yeah. kind of ironic, isn't it? Got well, kind of ironic. Really? Yeah, I got videos. I got two songs. Uh, left up. Just type in four four. Change the game. Yeah. And four four left and right. That's yeah. That's there. I still got more coming at the moment. Just you know, recovering, but eventually yeah. I'll be back like right I never now. left. Yeah. See, so, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely want to get you back at some point. Let's revisit and see what's going on with you. And yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. And it's, it's it's been a pleasure having you no, out I here. Appreciate it's been it, man. Yeah, I feel, I feel it's nice. Man. It's beautiful to be here, man. Yeah, yeah. Any socials? Anything that you want? Socials, to yeah. Um, Snapchat at the moment. Yeah. No, like that's a bit private for the meantime. Yeah. But um. Yeah, my Insta, um, yeah, 44 underscore CIV. Mm -hmm. That's the reason I have CIV there is because that's obviously my boy, he died unfortunately, and clean heart, brother, mm -hmm. died of COVID. Oh, so good. His, name, peace, his name was Stefan, RIP. He was doing music as well. And yeah, so. How old is he? He's my age, so around 23. Oh, wow. yeah. yeah, so. Yeah, I thought CIV, I'm going to carry that legacy because I'm getting shot now. I just want to take my name and his name to the next level. Mm. Yeah, that's mm. the goal. I love that. And yeah, that's about it. Music wise, yeah. And then just open. I'm open to work with anyone. Like, I'm not even trying to, like, I want if people, as long as they're on the same goal or some wavelength, yeah, yeah. I don't mind who I work with. I, I don't care about what area you're from. Yeah. I don't. I don't care about that. That's music's music. Yeah. When it comes to music, we're discussing music. We're not discussing. Ah, oh, he's from there. He's from there. Nah, I, I don't care about that. Like, break it all down. Yeah, yeah. I don't care about that. Like, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Wherever you're from, the, music. the fight, the struggle is the same. Yeah. Same. Hundred man, but yeah, that's that's it. Big, man. That's big, it, big man. Show. Thank yeah, you good. very much, man. Thank you. So exactly. Thank you. Well, really man. appreciate you coming yeah, I down. Appreciate, Andrew, I appreciate and I you lot as well, man. Yeah. Oh, he's come back. Maybe we, we, we never know. Defo, we might collaborate one day. Yeah. Defo, 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 yeah. Defo, Defo, open, man. Defo. This is even. This is even inspired me to even do my own podcast as well. Cool, yeah, cool. Because it's something cool. I wanted to do as well. Like, I want to hear yeah. all walks of life. I want, like, I want to hear. I want to know because at the end of the day. We're gonna learn things about each other. That's no matter what. Right yeah, it's life. It's just, that's what life's about. It's growth. It's growth. It's 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 growth mindset. Hundred like percent. Therapy. Therapy, well. therapy. therapy as well. Therapy as well. Because yeah. like I feel it's a platform. Like like there's certain people. Like especially when it comes to the ladies. Yeah. I don't really open. I can't really open up to ladies and tell them this. Yeah. But sitting down, I'm in a safe environment. That's right. And I can open up. No. And that's the thing about being yourself. And that's the thing that makes you better. For the future, open your. It's not. It's not. I wouldn't say vulnerability, but it's yeah, open up your being. The you it's yeah. the biggest strengths. They take. They make us think that vulnerability is weakness, and vulnerability is one of the biggest strengths that you can have. You know, no one's there. Cause yeah. If you're if you're able to be vulnerable and still be confident within yourself, you're at a new level. You know, no one's there. Yeah. You know, you like coming like Hiroshima. He's <laughs> <laughs> dropping bombs both sides. Boom, 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 dropping no, bombs on me. See where is. I thought this was. Life speaks with Ayo Powell, but is it? Life speaks. And I love that. No, I love that. Yeah. I love that. I love that. It's nice, man. It's nice. So, as I said, yeah. life speaks with Ayo Powell. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Next time we'll have a giveaway. Yeah. This was Andrew, and this is the voice nice behind really the camera. Yeah. Come on. 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 Come on